Broadcasting live from the Treehouse in Phoenix, Arizona. It's Beer Googles. Double E. Double O. Double G. With Chris Woodsy Peralta and Mark Poles. From the home office in Gilbert, Arizona. What's up, buddy? Hello. How goes your day? Just super. Welcome to with Thursday. Thanks for asking. Usually it's Wednesday. Oh, it's Thursday. I'm like, I'm all discombobulated. Isn't this beautiful? It's beautiful. Gus. Usually you're like, God, Jesus, Joe is a fat. I got two more work days after this. <laughs> now and we only today, have one, bro. We only have one sleep. What up? One sleep before the yes. weekend. Yes. Well, two sleeps before the weekend, not three sleeps. That's all. Well, yes. No, one sleep. What? One sleep before the weekend. Because Thursday. One sleep. What? And then the weekend. I know I'm excited. Well, I mean, it is technically two sleeps, but and dude, we got a we have a bro date after Friday. Yes, we sir. have a Valentine's Day bro date. I'm so excited. It's Brolentines <laughs> this year. <laughs> do, do we want to? Do you want to? Do we need a backdrop on this? Yeah. Before give we, us the before background. Before we go into the uh, bro, the, what's going on today? Well, today is Thursday, February 11th. A few days removed uh, prior to the V Day. Yeah. The good day. Yeah. The one, you know, non-manufactured commercial. Hey, stop it. Move along. Day at all. Nothing to stay on target. <clears throat> well, Megzy, my lovely Megzy, is like, hey. Hey, boo. Are, is it okay if I go up north with my bestie and we go sip wine? And I'm like, yes. She goes, it's on Valentine's Day. I go, even better. So, yes. So, now, I cri- I text Christopher and I'm like, I wonder if Christopher has Valentine's Day plans because I would like to take Christopher out for Valentine's you're Day. In, you're you're buying? Well, I'm going to take you out. We're going Dutch. Oh, so I'm just, I'll just drive. Or you're something. taking me. That doesn't make sense, bro. I don't know. We have to go over the going Dutch thing. I've ever told you that story. Sexy Somebody sushi. Didn't know, yes. Didn't know what going and then Dutch meant. post sushi, we're going to have a guffaw cigar. Guffaw cigar after yes. Uh, so we're going to have sushi at the Hana. Hi. Bring your own beer, sushi, or sake, or bring your own beer, sake, or wine. Hi. Um, and while Megzi, my love, is going to be up north with her bestie love. That's so. fantastic. Nominal. We're, it's like we're swinging our love. We're 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 love swinging without physical intimacy. Ah, that's weird, bro. It's good with our heart. We're swinging with our hearts. Okay. Just for the swing day. for not the fences, not for the fences swing from for the, the heart. hearts. So, um, yes, we have a Valentine's Day plan. I am super excited about that. I know I haven't had sushi like since the last time we had sushi. I want Toro, That's deep. Tataki, Toro. Hi. I want the belly. I want the filet mignon of the tuna. <laughs> All right. Yes. Well, now that we've wasted that time, <laughs> not wasted, shared. No, right? Shared we our life with bro you, date, man. Yeah, it is a Brovent Brolentine, a Br- yes. Brolentine's. The 14th, Sunday. Get off me, bro. Get off me, bro. I wonder what time we're going to do it for. Uh, I don't even know because I can't make reses, I don't think. We'll have to, I actually thought about looking at an open table. I checked, I think. There, but we'll in, check it. Okay. Check it again. Yeah. We'll carrying on to the... Notes. Yes. Now <laughs> on to our serious... It's so serial. Super serious Peter Google's super toothpick. Cereal. I just said Peter Google's toothpick. Toothpick. This is, this is what happens when you the fuck toothpick. with words. Don't fuck with words. Well, you make, when you just don't it, like that. When you add an O to goggle or add a G to Google, <laughs> then you start saying Tupic. Tupic? Yeah, but it's a topic, I think. That sounds Swedish, Tupic. So how are we doing with that Tupic? Fantastic. Uh, how are there 496 Tupics on the ground? Yes, 296. Yeah, there's four left in the box. It's 246. No, it's 500. It's 246. Was, wasn't it 500? It's 250. In the, 250 I think in the it's box. 500. 246 Tupics. Okay. I thought it was 496. I, you know, I'm looking that shit up later. Dude. I'm probably looking up as we're talking. Don't do but what it. are we talking about today, sir? Today's podcast top topic topic. Two uh, The man, survey of the week: three people, dead or alive, not the band, that you've never met, that you would like to share a meal with. That is the survey of the week. Very nice. I like it. Go. Well, well, we surveyed people. Um, yeah. How did this idea come to you? Because this it's, is this from is the one, home office. Yeah, we need at to, Felicia's we, house. Oh, oh Felicia! <laughs> this is Felicia's. Felicia, this is Felicia's. This is Felicia's idea. Well, hi, Felicia. Is this one of Felicia's office. first? Yeah. Uh, no, probably. Felicia, this is your first time. <laughs> we'll be dirty, gentle. Dirty, dirty. We'll take our time. We'll be gentle. We promise. What are we talking about? Topics. Yes, two picks. <laughs> two picks, but no toothpicks. Right. Um. 
so we're going to start with that. I We chose three each, correct? Yeah. Okay. Initially. I have an honorable mention because somebody stole one of my picks. So I had to, I couldn't have the same as anybody else. Okay. I feel like um, I, uh, Megs, I felt like I was like in some kind of scramble mode, like last minute trade deadline or something. Because last minute I needed, Megsy and her bestie gave me two each last night. Yeah. I'm like, I need a third, ladies. And Megsy just was, I don't want that one. I did ones I chose. I want these. Are you going to mention the ones she completely switched on? She me. traded for. I will. Tr- I yes. will. And I know. I will tell that you didn't, why that didn't make the team. You know that one of them was oh, probably influenced okay. by myself. Oh, dude, you can't. Why? It wasn't my fault. I told. I it's, said it's, if it's nope. influenced by you, then it's your fault. I took it down. I said no. Shoot. I said no. No, what, this person. Did, you need to keep that person. That person is a really good choice. I just don't like that person. That's what I said. Okay. That's just as she knows my. I know. Lack I of know Dane. who you're talking about. My lack of Dane. What are um, you? Disdain, you know, disdain. Is lack, my lack of, of Dane. Dane. Yes. Is that my lack of Dane or am, am I completely Undained. Daneless? A Daned. Yeah. Um, <laughs> who, how many people? Because rep- you're, you were, once again, you are the Wozniak of, of the surveys and the Google. You basically run Googles. You have the topics. You get the people's responding. How do you do this, sir? 17 people responded. 17? Yes, sir. 17 days? I text all the people, and if they wow. wish to respond, then they are entitled to. That's And if they don't, that's okay, too. Unbelievable. And that's it's, it. It's, it's a text message. fucking 6 fix, you son of a bitch. I know. I knew I was right, bro. I've only seen that movie once. Definitely that, Judge that's Wapner. That's a fucking lie. Judge Wapner. Only watched it once, my ass. Dude, it's not that great of a you movie. Don't that's an, not. You don't have an idemic memory that you remember all that stuff. Well, it was such an iconic line. I'm definitely a good driver. That's just funny. Yeah, I'm definitely a good driver. Definitely a good driver. So many people say definitely a good driver. A lot of people don't say exactly two. Hundred. I thought it was the five box of 500 toothpick and it was 496. He goes, there's four left in the box. That's what I remember. So I have a fucking shitty memory and I'm wrong. So. I yield to you. You're sir. welcome. Congratulations. Thank you. I win uh, nothing uh, once again. I we will end with Megzi and her friend. Okay. And then you and I, of course. Okay. And I think we'll go back and forth. We'll do tennis match style. Okay. What table tennis or ping pong? Pong of the ping. Yeah. That was that would it fell it bounced off the table, bro. I'm oh, sorry. that's amazing. <laughs> you know what's great about that? I don't have to copyright that sound because I did it with my mouth. <laughs> So I don't, you know what I mean? You don't have to like all these fucking stupid foghorn leghorn sound effects that we have. You have to like royalty. Oh, credit. Yeah. No credit with my mouth, bro. If I make music with my mouth, no credit. With my mouth. With my mouth. Stop talking. Stop making noise. All right. That's the ping pong table. We're going back and forth. Who? Who? With whom do we start, mm-hmm. sir? Mm-hmm. Are we starting with somebody special or just no, like an just ordinary? The, as the responses nurse? came in, oh, that is the order. So you, order is always by first by that first last. Is response? correct. Should should the first responder get the last credit because to be at the end or should they be at the front of the line? I'm curious. You're what do you think, bro? I'm I just go down part. my text messages and whoever's first gets this on the list first, bro. I'm just it's curious not, which one has the most power in the podcast. You. Which is the one they hear the most. Uh, before Felicia they turn it off. probably has the most so power. So probably the first one. Yeah. And, uh, by the way, there are some people that I didn't know who they were, so I made some notes as to who these people are to give some background to you and or to our listeners. I promise you if I do not know someone, I will tell you. Uh, I'm pretty sure you will know everyone. But if there's like three, there's three references. I was like, uh, I know the name, but I don't know what why they right. I know them, so I had to look it up. Okay, very cool. So, please start, Jace, with your first survey, sir. Numero uno is Roberto. 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 Oh wow, he's an early early entry. He's, Usually, he's in the middle of the pack. Yes, he's off to the races, bro. His first selection, the gentleman over your left shoulder, Muhammad Ali. Son of a bitch. Cassius Clay. Well, that's changed. All you right. just changed your list? Yeah. <laughs> There's your honorable mention. There's my honorable mention. <laughs> fucking man. Right off the fucking first one. Just how, I'm going to go three for three. I, I, think wonder if, I wonder if if you could guess mine. Muhammad Ali. Let's just do, get it out of the way because I, did anyone else choose Muhammad Ali? No. Okay. Of the other 16 people. I don't I, believe okay. so. Mine definitely would have been. Now, there was a caveat to this, obviously. When we say alive, I'm hoping in their prime. 
before they have Parkinson's. You could, you can, you, because this is a bullshit fictional conversation, you can, he can be the 12 year old Cassius Clay. So it could want. be like, for example, I hate to say, you know, bring it up again. Young Michael, old Michael, for example, adult, Michael. adult MJ oh, versus young Michael. Yeah. For example, cause that'd be a good one. Cause the child probably very different than yeah. the adult. Like if you wanted to hang out with like the young Jackson five or something versus like, right. Yes. That is totally allowed. Like today I had some clarifying questions and a certain young lady, she said, can I pick somebody? And he just sits there and looks pretty and doesn't talk. I go, yeah, if you want to have dinner with David Beckham and he doesn't speak and she, then she says, can he be shirtless? I say, absolutely. Who is this? Oh, oh that shit's is that, on, is that on the list? Yeah. Oh, wait, but you already blew it. You're blowing the load. Well, it's here. just funny that the but questions. Beckham, did, they, did they add Victoria? Because, you know. I know, And then I told the story of how the I'm Ten Commandments way. devolved into you having a threesome with the Beckhams <laughs> and how you were going to, like, just lay on his stomach and, and caress his just abs. Caress his and abs, David yes. could. David wash, could like, I think wash my clothes on him. Yeah. On abs, David well. could, like, you know, just soothe your hair and tell you everything's going to be okay while Posh is over in the corner. Just diddling yourself and then we watch. Mm. <laughs> oh, shit. This devolved already quickly, yes. but we haven't even started After yet. After Muhammad Ali. All right. Um, now, Anything let's, else? Yes, yeah, so let's continue. With Muhammad Ali. Yeah. I would choose Muhammad Ali between 75 and 80, right before he started showing real signs. Not years He's, old, but the 1975. 1975 and 1980. Okay. Um, because right before the Holmes fight, Holmes fight is where he started just showing those signs won the title back from Spanx. it was weird i would say 70 like 75 would probably be prime 75 76 okay just beating fraser a couple times two of the three times i think and uh remarkable life remarkable individual just an awesome seemed like a really solid person lost lost his belt right lost his belt and in prime in the prime of his life 25 between 25 and 28 because he refused to fight in vietnam he said he was a pacifist. He was a Muslim. Found that interesting. Okay. And lost a lot of money. I mean, he lost everything. They took everything from him for him to take that stand. I think that's pretty bold. Because honestly, you know what they would have done with him in the military. They would have done like they would have. Like yeah, with the USO tour. Right. Because like Elvis, Elvis was 56, I think, or something. But he was drafted. And he went. But... You know, he just did fucking oh, 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 oh. <laughs> blue moon of Kentucky, keep on shining. Lemonade. And with that, yes, get off me, bro. And we need uh, two more people. Next, Teddy Roosevelt. Love it. Not Teddy Ruff Roosevelt. Rider. Teddy Roosevelt. Speak softly, carry big stick. I know. Great, Ruff great, Rider. great line. Tough motherfucker, right? Wasn't well, he malaria he was, motherfucker with the canal? Uh, I mean, the his, canal? His, Suez Canal or Pan Panama? Panama. I don't he's know. Panama Canal. Uh, he's the his group was the Rough Riders. Yeah. So obviously he was a tough dude. Yeah. Didn't he help? Did he help uh, with Cuba and some other shit? Did he like storm some fucking places? He was a crazy. He was an explorer. Yeah. Well, didn't so he, he like, explored all over the with, Amazon? Like, the military and shit all his, the time. Uh, the only thing that I really remember about him is that he founded basically the national national park system. And right. then Yosemite was the, he christened Yosemite the first national park. I love that. So I, I knew he was a big conservatory, outdoorsy dude. Teddy Roosevelt's a great one. Teddy Roosevelt. All right, man. Last one, sir. Ruth Bader Ginsburg. RBG. I brought that up to the ladies last night. Yeah. And they're like, no. And I'm like, what? RBG? Like, was she, that'd be your woman. She wasn't the first. Was she the first woman Supreme Court? Or was I don't that believe Sandra she Day O'Connor? I think it was Sandra Day O'Connor. Okay. However... I think RBG set a lot of blueprints and she kind of like set a lot of things on fire. She shook a lot of things loose. Like she didn't just accept the status quo. She was pretty vocal in her, in the change that she, you know what I mean? And the changes or the yeah. policies that she was after. Yeah. Which is strong woman. Loved it. Huge, huge uh, monuments or uh, dedications to her in Philadelphia, actually. Oh, no shit. Yeah. I was not aware of that. Yeah. Those are three interesting choices. That's Very good cool. choices. Yeah. All right. Who, who's next after? Uh, next. Roberto. After Roberto is Adam Roberts with three dudes. I didn't know who they were. All right. Jeremy Clarkson, Richard Hammond, and James May. Of Top of Gear. Of Top Gear. And uh, the other one, uh, the one from the US yeah, one. Right. Or the, the and they, uh, one. he said he's just going to drink British beer with Grand, those dudes Grand and shoot the shit. Over. Yeah, the Grand Touring now it's called? Grand yes, Tour. correct. Grand Tour. Yeah. Very Jeez. nice. Very well done. Yeah. If you're a car person, a gearhead, 
all that stuff. Yeah. Because there's some funny dudes doing stupid shit with cars. Yes, totally. Yes. Love it. That Those are three great it's choices. It's funny. I was like, dude, that's cool. The stories they have. Yeah, absolutely. Outside of the ones they even have in their show are, must be. Yeah, how much ridiculous. stupid crap they've probably done. And the shit, like, they're, they're storytellers on top. So even though it might be, it'll be so embellished and so colored so well, painted, the storytelling would be so beautiful. And just think about after a couple of drinks, you know, and they start goofing around, that's got to be fun, you know? Yeah, and- uh, do we have access to the same cars to drive after we eat, eat well, drink, we, and drive? Uh, yeah, on a we, closed track? we could uh, request that they bring certain vehicles with them to dinner. Yes. And then you get to test drive that Would shit. Would they do that? Is, is this part of this? If one? David Beckham could be topless at dinner, those dudes can bring cars. All right. I I'm mean, down. I don't see why that wouldn't be approved. I, I approve it 100%. Yes. All right. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Roberts. Uh, so you had Roberto followed Roberto by Roberts. Roberto and then Adam Roberts. Wow, beautiful. Jace, back-to-back Roberts. After- Get off me, bro. Oh, I'm sorry, fuck. Jesus, Oh, man. my God, I'm not good with the video. I know. Kevin Let's Klein keep it on you. was next. I'm good. All right, Mr. Klein. With starting up, Einstein. Einstein, bro. Is that on your list, too? Was, but I removed them. <sighs> and I hemmed and hawed. I figured someone would choose him. Okay. He was going to be kind of like a plan B, but now my plan B shot. So I got a plan C, D, E, F, and G. Oh, poop. I'm good, though. So I, how many I'm, total were on your list because you knew this was going to happen? Probably about 23. 23 and no. me? No, I have I have like three solid, but Muhammad Ali was one of the solid, so I'm going to definitely replace that. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, we're good, man. Don't you, worry about me. Uh, well, I, I love you, man. I, I, two ten, I, man. Einstein was interesting because he definitely ran my mind. What were your thoughts about Einstein? Well, E equals M C square, bro. And other math stuff. You know, that's not what he got the Nobel Prize. What? He, he got the Nobel Prize for the photoelectric effect of. Uh, What's the photoelectric effect of? That light is both a wave and a particle. Oh. I believe he was on that paper. Sure. It wasn't for E equals MC squared. It might have been for the other, for the cosmological constant one, but. Cosmological anyway. constant one. But he was interesting. Anybody who has his picture going. Yeah, right. Pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> or. Whatever, with his hair all disheveled. On fire. We've had disheveled. We've been disdained Disheveled today. and disdained. I just want to be heveled and dained, guys. Can we just Is be that, heveled and dained, please? A, yeah, I'll, I'll prove that. <laughs> you, and, you and David can go off and do that together. All right. Last thoughts about Einstein before you uh, continue he was to smart. the next person. All right. He was geniuses. On your shit. list? Anywhere near? No, sir. Okay. It never crossed my mind. Got it. Next for Mr. Klein is Carl Sagan. Millions and millions of stars. I may be interesting, but he'd probably talk you to sleep. Well, yeah. Because his voice is a little... Alluring. Lulling. Yes. Alluring. A lulling. Let's call it a lulling. <laughs> That's a great choice, though. Yeah. Right. I dig it because he's a space dude. Yeah. Love, dude. love Sagan. Sagan and Einstein? I mean, come on. Yeah. Followed by Ben Franklin, bro. God Damn it! <laughs> yeah, this is going great. I'm fucking zero for two, my friend. Do you're zero for three? Because you had, you had Einstein Muhammad was Ali, my backup. Einstein and Ben Franklin. Yeah, Einstein That's was three. My backup. You're zero for three, dude. Yeah, but Einstein was or Einstein was my backup. I have another you science have person. We'll find out if he gets next. Okay. Or she. I, or she. Whoa! Whew, almost lost it, Freudian style. <laughs> I need Edward Bernays back in here. <laughs> Is he at your oh, dinner party? I don't know how obscure that is, but that we did a podcast about Edward Bernays. That's why. That's and why that is the nephew of Dr. Sigmund Freud. Yes. Okay. Which is Freudian slip. And yes. When I said man or, or woman. Whoa, man. Whoa, man. She was a thief. Now I got to figure out two more. This sucks because Franklin, the dude, fuck, the dude could get you into parties in France and get you syphilis. Uh, How fucking want, rock and kick ass is that? I don't, I don't know. Well, I mean, I mean the ladies that's, must have been. That's I mean, not good, dude. No, I know. I don't want syphilis. Is that a permanent one? Is I that one of the permanent? You think I know? Is that one of the permanent? The only one I'm familiar with has a silent H, bro. I know, but this one has an H in it too. I <laughs> swear the syphilis has it an H. Does. I think it's P H Y L L I S. It starts with the it Syph- start with an S. Yeah, but it's syphilis. It's got an H oh. in it. It's just like chlamydia. It's syphidel- syphidelity. No, that's the blue pill. Psilocybin. Sil- 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 that's uh, that's psilocybin. <laughs> that's the mushroom. What? We're going in circles. I'm my so <laughs> confused. Well, 
by Regardless, Ben Franklin. Ben Franklin could get syphilis. you to parties. He had fucking. He was a genius. He must have been the most entertaining motherfucker, and he could get you with any woman. You see the dude with the the key on the, on the kite. Key on the kite. Okay, ready? electricity, bro. Philadelphia. Yeah. Voluntary firefighters, post office, public library, medical building with live cadavers to work to uh, examine. Like the stuff he live came cadavers. Up, this isn't well in real life. Like live cadavers. Well, they're dead no, cadavers. Well, cadavers are, are by definition dead, so they're real life cadavers. They're not okay. dummy. Okay. So real life cadavers, real hyphen life. Wait, you gonna hold me on semantics, bro? Yeah. Because if if I found a live cadaver, I'd be like zombies. <laughs> Three days before our bro bro Lindines and you're and you're starting things. Well, I'm going to get sushi either way, whether you're there or not. I, you know, whatever. But but it's gonna be our bro Lindines three days away, and you're already starting. Yeah. Damn. I yes, I am. Is this so the makeup sex is better? Is it me or is it you? It's both. It's definitely me. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless of who the fuck it really is, it's me. Okay. Um, Franklin did. He just he's he never patented anything so he just like was a jonas salk with salk right with uh, polio yeah he gave away everything now people argue or claim that he did it because he you know he was pop he wanted the fame he didn't care about the money because he was going to get the fame everything else came with the fame of being ben franklin you know what i mean so okay. he didn't need money so patenting things didn't matter but giving it away it's like oh ben did that oh ben did that so a lot of people thought it was like an ego thing to like give away everything but he still did it he didn't patent any of the stuff that he came up with and it's like philadelphia's like has ben franklin's fingerprints all over allegedly buried there they throw pennies on his grave and then they collect the pennies and give it some charity every year oh okay it's pretty cool that's nice yeah yeah that's pretty cool you should go on the double decker bus uh tour don't do the duck it'll yep. drown it'll sink what? lots of people died lots of people don't in do philly I, I think a philly one Tipped over, got hit by a tugboat or something, and then another one got hit, like, in Boston. Just don't do it, man. The duck boats. Okay. They, they, I didn't know there was those in Philly. They Are those in Philly? Brrr, brrr, I didn't know they- Amphibian. Amphibians. Yes. Amphibious <laughs> vehicles. I, what is wrong with me? I don't man? know. I feel like I'm well, wired up, amped up. Wired up. I'm feeling loose. I'm feeling good. You're All weird. right. I'm ready for- So we had Einstein, yep. Carl Sagan- and Ben Franklin. And Ben Franklin. Fucking great. What are your thoughts on Ben? Do you know anything about Ben? No, I just know he's the kite guy, and he wore the glasses. The spectacles. That's all I know. I don't really know shit about him. I grew up in the city that basically- I'm sure I learned a lot about him, but I can't. I don't. I, I would, obviously, it would be me that knows a lot, because just living, growing up there- Yeah. That's all you. That's all we are. I mean, we know about the George Washingtons and the Ben Franklins. Yeah. Because we, we don't know much about Jefferson because he moved up north. He went to New, New England over there. Didn't he go to Vermont or some shit? Vermont. <sighs> Jefferson, so I thought Virginia. he was in Virginia. Virginia. Yeah. Montpelier. Isn't that, isn't that his, yeah, where, his, where his plantation yeah. is? Yeah. was? Yeah. Whatever. So, but anyway, uh, we have another person after. We have like fucking 13. Mr. Klein. Yes. Mr. Klein, once again, thank you and fuck you. Because there are <laughs> two of my three. I uh, Now I have one. I literally have one left. I have one that... <sighs> Is God. absolutely in there, but he's going to get next. I, I mean, or she, or yes, them, that they, All whatever, them. whatever their pronouns are. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, man. What's uh, next? Next up is our super senior executive producer, Mary. Mary. Is it Tina Turner? No. Not one is she Tina. Not proud Mary. Not one Turner. <laughs> uh, first up on her list is Jesus. Yeah. How many people chose Jesus? I believe three. How many people chose Einstein too? Anybody? One. Any dupes? Just one? Yeah. Wow. Only one Einstein. So hopefully my my person won't get chosen. So I hope not. Hopefully it's last. Um, David Beckham was chosen four times. Oh, David I'm Beckham. So I'm sorry. Fucked. Oh, that was one of my guys. And uh, how about Victoria? Victoria's never chosen? No. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Okay. So, so you Jesus. can steal her. So not Jesus. Him. Yes. Get it. Jesus. Um, it's pretty. I mean, I knew that would be a, a pretty common choice. Well, Mary has gone the way of the Jesus. The way of the Jesus, she Being has. Being recently, recently baptized, baptized, is that correct? correct? Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that journey. Did you go to the baptism? I went to church, bro. Didn't burst into flames. Tell us about it. Two atheists walk into church. I don't know what the punchline of that is, but that's what happened with me and her husband, Wayne. <laughs> and we didn't die, and there was no fire, and it was awesome. So what's what's going on with Wayne? He just, he, 
he's he's obviously encouraging and supportive. Oh, absolutely. We know that because yeah, they're, they're just, such uh, a great couple. Oh, yeah. He's that. just a non-believer like me. That's all. Mm-hmm. You know, she's she's found she's a, new, that's beautiful. a new path. And hey, salute. Salute. Mazel tov to you and Jesus. Who's next on her list? Is it, would it, what, wait, would it, what? Would it be the Last Supper? <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. That was awful. Dad joke. Oh, Write that one true. down. Dad joke. Dad joke. Okay. If you had dinner with Jesus, would it be the Last Supper? Boom, boom, shh. All right. Uh, after Jesus, Mary has Garth Brooks. Because apparently she has friends in low places. Caveat. What? Does the married couple come with? Like, does Yearwood come along with just because they're married? Because that... No. Unless you specify that, which we did have a couple of those. No. She just... Trisha can stay home. I know, but like, could I count Trisha and Garth as one? No. Ever? No. Okay. I just thought it asked... That's two fucking people. I know, but it's like... They're like a couple. Look, I'm giving... Like, Ron Offerman and Megan Mullally... I don't know who that is, bro. Yeah, you do. The Office. Or no, Parks and Rec. Ron. Parks and oh, Rec. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Megan Mullally. Yes. Uh, that's okay. super hot yeah, at yeah. any age. Right. Woman. She is yeah, funny as shit. Super funny as shit, but yeah. super hot. They've yeah, been yeah, together yeah. forever. Right. They got, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I saw their stand up. It was really funny together. <laughs> Comeric, I think. Anyway. The my, only my couple point is, that is allowed. Luke and, Luke and Leia. No. They're not. <laughs> oh, can they be fictitious? <laughs> The, no, that's next week, bro. Oh. <laughs> the, do we have, do we even talk about fictitious? No, we didn't. That, that maybe later. The only couple that is allowed that is one person and not two are the Beckhams. That's it. <laughs> next, sir. They're like ten people. They're like ten people. Yeah. Well, there's so David, and then Victoria. Posh, and then his six abs. So that's eight people. <laughs> that's true. It's eight. I think he has eight, eight abs. So oh, he's, so it isn't even eight abber? Isn't, isn't aren't most eight, people, got an eight pack? Aren't the good people eight now? The it good people. The good people. Well, it used to be six was the good. Now eight's the. I don't even know the good. The new norm for abs. Uh, I've four, got one. Four, I got a k- pony keg, bro. It goes just boop. One big ab. No, what is going on with your punchy, punchy, pinchy, pinchy? Well, it's big. <laughs> it, I said it was big ab. It's, oh, it's, it's a big. It's ab. just not well defined. Punchy, punchy, pinchy, pinchy is not going as well. Oh. But my arms have gotten much more exercise since my frivolous. Lottery spending, lottery spending of, of arm exercising, exercising engineers. Yes. <laughs> uh, do you have anything to say about Garth Brooks? Is he the Good most? Choice. Is I, he the most popular country person of all time? I think mo- best selling of all time. I would. I would. I would say yes. But um, yeah, and he seems like an interesting guy. So why not? Yeah. Like there are interesting people, or there are some really popular people that I would have zero interest. in. I had that conversation today. We'll probably get into that then. But that he's not one of them. I'm not saying he is. I'm just saying I don't know what his personality is. Right. Like, I would love to bend a physicist or a scientist ear, but they're boring as fuck. Usually. Well, they're smart. Right, but they're usually boring as fuck. Like, their delivery is just so brain-numbingly straight and boring. That like you Carl Sagan? Yeah, but I like Carl, but yes. Yeah. I mean... Neil deGrasse got a little nerd in him, and I'm he he tries to be eloquent, and, but he kind of and then he sounds like Charlie Brown's teacher after about five minutes, <laughs> and then you take a great nap. It's like it's like uh, and I like him too. Watching curling, but different. I love curling, right I know. and sailing. Right. U.S. sucked this year in sailing. Just a oh, lot. So America's sad. Cup, Prada Cup. They got their asses handed to them by the Italians. The Italians. The Italians. Anyway, what do you have to say? Uh, he's a good singer. All right. That's, number three. <laughs> uh, Mary has Jesus, Garth, and Abe Lincoln. Oh, I'm like, do we already have Jesus? Did I Jesus was doing a twice? recap, bro. Oh, I'm like. And President Lincoln. I like Lincoln. Four score and 20 minutes ago. That's an interesting one. That I'm thinking about the table now. I'm not just thinking about. Remember, we're talking about these people are commiserating together. Yeah, like, no, I agree. Obviously, the I top about tier too. guys. Or not, that's fine. Right, that's but you got Jesus like talking to Garth, talking yeah. to Abe. Jesus, uh, Abe and fucking Garth Brooks are a very diverse group Absolutely. of people. Absolutely, yes. I'd love to hear what each of these motherfuckers would have. I did have several questions of, is it one dinner with all three, or is it separate dinners one at a time? And I said, your choice. Either one. Would wrong. Be a, well, wrong. sorry, you, you weren't wrong. there, fucker. You didn't, you didn't ask me. You didn't ask me. 
I predicated all of this that all three would hang out together because part of that is the allure. I agree. The, 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 like, imagine me getting... Um, that comes? Oh. Well, imagine if I want, like, Ollie Frazier at the fucking dinner right. table together. What I thought was... And fireworks. What if you got four choices and you do JFK, Lee Harvey Oswald, the director of the CIA, and the director of the KGB? Who's the guy who got shot in the head? Uh, Jim, Jim, in the, in the tunnel. Lee, not Lee... Uh, shot in the tunnel. Ruby. Jack Ruby. Jack Ruby yeah. shot Lee Harvey Oswald. Oh, Jack Ruby shot Lee Harvey Oswald. Yeah. Right. And then we get Jack Ruby in there too, though. Well, that's five. This well, table's getting out of control. I know, but we need, if you're going to bring Lee Harvey Oswald in with Kennedy, because yeah, they both got shot in the point. fucking head, right. you're going to bring both of their, obviously one point. shot the other one, yeah. possibly. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> I thought that, that that's a good point. And I, I agree that the dynamic of the table is important. And okay. So I did think about that as well. Okay, so you die. You go to heaven. Okay. Whatever. Lee, for some reason, Lee Harvey Oswald's there. Uh, just passing through? No. Well, maybe and he's innocent. He, he no, was that's what I'm saying. He he knows whether he his shot was the kill shot. He knows. Yeah. Right? Whether he even pulled a trigger or not, I believe he did, obviously. I think he shot at Kennedy, without a doubt. Okay. Very likely that one of the bullets was his. Very likely that both of them were hit. Very likely that he shot whatever. twice. I think he shot three times in a matter of very quick. Oh, I did. Okay. Because he had the one shot and then the one, the headshot. Okay. I think there were two. It was weird. Anyway, because the first one wasn't the headshot. Okay. The first one was that weird magic bullet one that went pam, 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 down to the left, down to the left. That weird one. Okay. Anyway, you're Lee Harvey Oswald. Do you take cred for it? Well, you're dead. Why not? But you're like, that's what I'm saying. Like, everybody comes up, and I don't think, I don't know if we get the knowledge of everything once we go to heaven, but I'm sure people talk. <laughs> is, a that, is that heaven gossip? Okay. Right. Yeah, so yeah. Lee Harvey's like, yeah, I did. It was my, it was my kill shot. Like, or does he go, guys, I know, I never, I didn't do, I didn't, I, I didn't, I, I can't talk about it. It's classified. <laughs> In heaven? Yeah. Sorry, bro. You don't it's have redacted. clearance. Is it redacted? It's, it is. You don't have clear. You don't have heavenly clearance. All right. Well, so Abe Lincoln. All right, Abe rounds Lincoln, out the it. table for Mary. That is an interesting. Abe Lincoln talking. I could see Abe and Jesus having some pretty interesting philosophical discussions. You sure. And then who's in the middle again? Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks would be like, I reckon. I what? I was in Oklahoma. <laughs> y'all know, y'all know we, we got physics in Oklahoma too? I, I don't know how he sounds. I don't think he sounds That's like not, that. I don't think that. He doesn't have much of a twang, I don't think. He's got a little, but it's not bad. It's, right. But he's from Oklahoma. I do know that. Okay. Drove by his town with his name on, like, I think it's Clinton, Oklahoma. No, it's not Clinton, Oklahoma. It's whatever Oklahoma with the Garth Brooks water tower. Okay. Garth Brooks is here or something or was here. I drove by Carrie Underwood's hometown on I-40 and I saw the American Idol on the sign. Let me guess. You didn't care. Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> Gary right. Undergrotch. Who's next after? Uh, Thank you, Mary, for submitting those three. Jesus. Jesus. Je <laughs> Jesus, Garth Brooks. <laughs> and Abe <laughs> Lincoln. Walk into a bar. <laughs> they sit at the table. And then we don't know what the, we don't know the punchline after that. Wayne is up next. Super senior executive producer. Mary's husband, Wayne. He's starting off with Mel Brooks. Comic genius. Excellent choice. Yeah. Where are you from? Ethiopia. Which part? 125th Street. <laughs> I mean, his movies are just go on. And I know uh, Wayne's a, Fran a fan of uh, young Frankenstein. 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 Very nice. I like that. That's a great one. Is the other one going to be... Harvey Brooks by any chance? No. And the other one going to be Brooks Brothers? No. Brooks and Dunn? No. Mel Brooks? Yes. Yes. Oh, wait. That's the same. Bubbling yeah. Brooks? No, babbling Brooks? Babbling Brooks? Bro no. <laughs> Brooke Burke? She's pretty. Yes. Approved, but, but no. But what age, though? <coughs> 19. I don't know. Yeah. No, no, no. 19. Yes, sir. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, after Mel Brooks. I'm sorry everyone's listening to this. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Many amazing comedies that everyone should go check out, like Blazing Saddles. Blazing Saddles. History of World Part 1. Excuse me while I whip this Spaceballs. out. Spaceballs. I mean, come on. Yes. Just plain yogurt. 
We uh, <laughs> we break for nobody. Right? Raspberry jam. What is this? Oh, yeah. Mog. Half man, half dog. Uh, again? I'm my own best friend. We're going to do this one again. Nope. That's it. Next. After Mel Brooks <laughs> is Alex Trebek. Wayne is a huge Jeopardy guy. That like huge. is he, a great choice. Uh, Wayne's tried to get on Jeopardy two or three times. How do you do? And he's super smart and he didn't get on the show. No, because I don't. <coughs> it's You have to be really, really, really smart. I think a lot of it has to do with the um, trigger, the button. You know, if you're yeah. not, if you just because you're smart and you know the answer doesn't mean you're going to get it right because somebody else buzzes in before you. So that's a, that's part of it. Did I share a story about my valedictorian here on 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 that any a of the podcast? Valedictorian that was on Jeopardy it was on one of the college ones. She got like negative one hundred dollars at the end of the fucking two rounds. It was wow. like so embarrassed. She was she just choked. And I don't. I'm not calling her out. I right. felt horrible for her, but she fucking choked she was just deer in the headlights and like ants was taught like ants obviously answered incorrect answers at some point because she was still in the negative yeah she couldn't even do with the final thing right. i felt really bad for her i felt really um, just because it was like damn that sucks anyway did you know we have a chapter brother that was a champion on no jeopardy gamma oda our brother number five michael lewis really was a five-day jeopardy champion he won like over 100 what grand year? Just was it recently? Yeah, f six, seven years ago. Okay, yeah, it's pretty cool. I think was around for 30, 40 years, right? Right, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I still play Jeopardy on the Alexa every day. Nice, six questions. Oh, really? Yeah, and then it's Alex's voice, and he's like, Glad to have you back. I'm like, What the fuck? Like, after he passed, I'm like, oh, <laughs> they, they didn't replace him yet. It just freaked me out a little bit just because it's so, okay. Well, hang on, they try to make it sound live so. What do you? I, I didn't know you could do oh, that. Yeah. So, so just, ready? Yes, go. Alexa, play Jeopardy. That's all you say. Okay. And then I'll do 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 do. And then Alex is like, "Hey, we haven't heard you. Thanks for coming on. Would you like to try our deluxe pack?" And you're like, "No." And he's like, "All right, all right." Like you were hearing, like back it off. Depending on the tone that you yell back at Alexa, it's pretty amazing. Wow. Yeah. And then six questions, but it's not him asking. It's like the Alexa robot voice going, this thing was made popular, blah, blah, blah. And six questions, just random questions. And do you, do you have to answer them in the form of a question? Yes, sir. And you get it wrong if you don't do that? Correct. And how, how difficult are the questions? Well, there have been times we've only gotten two out of six. Okay. Where Megzi and I do it together. Okay. And then we've gotten like one or twice we've gotten all six. A lot of times like four or five. We'll have one where it's like, damn, we just... It was just obscure or some weird thing. We just didn't know. Is it timed, each response? It is like 10, you know, you have five, 10 seconds or something. And do they play the Jeopardy music? Do, 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 do. It's uh, a little bit, yes, right in the okay. beginning. You're, it's playing right now in some houses because I said I love it, it. Right now on the podcast. I Hopefully it's in the Beckham's house. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. David. I'm so excited. Vicky. Vic? Vix? May I call you Vix? Posh, David, Vixie? and Alexa. Poshy. Alexi? Lexi? Poshy? All right. Joining uh, Wayne's table of yes. Mel Brooks and Alex Trebek. Mel Brooks and Alex Trebek. That'd be an interesting conversation. The third member of the dinner party is George Donner, the leader of the Donner Party, that tried to cross a mountain pass in California and started eating each other. Wow, <laughs> that is. Did we? Uh, do we? Come that, up with, and you know the Donner Party is like a question on Jeopardy, right? Why don't we come up with? Why, why don't we come up with awards? Because this one like warrants this the most best table. Fucking award. once again, Wayne, you've won nothing. I mean, I wouldn't want to eat Alex though, nor Mel. Well, no, but you're not gonna. You're gonna have. Is that some, what you're serving? No, at the you're fucking gonna have. Party? This is not Dexter, bro. You're not serving the Donner Party. No, <laughs> this is your. Because it is the Don. Didn't they eat each other? Yes. Yeah, they, Yes. Did he? Did, how many? Okay. Can you give us a backstory? Of the I don't whole thing? know. I, I just looked it up that in, I think it was the 1800s, they were trying to cross part of the Sierras in California okay. and it got really snowy and then they, they ran out of food right. and then they started, they, they, cannibalism. Did they choose? Or, I mean, I don't know. Whoever's the most delicious. How many people made it? I don't uh, know, dude. Five? I, I one? Did anybody make it? I don't know. You know what, man? I don't care. <laughs> I need I need you to care at this no. moment because I need to know. Uh, okay, but think about it. Okay, so if like you Mark have Anthony, George I need to know. Donner at your dinner party, that's interesting. Like, okay, like to ask him some questions. 
What were you thinking? What does a human thigh taste like? You know, like, did you have hot sauce? Like, did you... I'd be interested to... What's the frame of mind of, fuck, we should not have come down this way. And now half of us are dead. You know, like, he's the leader of the pack. Why did they do what they do? did? I, I'd ask one it feels like to be named after Cupid in the list of reindeer. Yeah, it's rough, bro. I mean, it's like it's like seventh. How do you like it's being like the seventh? Sixth? Maybe the sixth the reindeer? The seventh so, reindeer, George. Cupid and Donner and Blitzen, but the, yeah, shit. He's seven. He's fucking seven, That's bro. so sad. No, is it's it eight, nine? It's not sad that is he is his wife. It's sad that he's the seventh is reindeer. Is it nine or is it eight reindeer? I don't care. No, how many reindeer are I there, bro? I don't care, bro. I don't know. <laughs> I don't care, bro. <laughs> how funny is that that he's, that wouldn't you be upset? I'm like, you no. named me after Cupid and before Blitzen? Okay, Fuck this shit. But I'm, when, in the, I'm in the tail end of this When was that reindeer. song written? I don't know. Way after he already ate his kids. Okay. <laughs> Are you sure the reindeer song was written before? Children after? Tacos, dude. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst thing I said ever. I no, think. there's a list of those <laughs> things, bro. <laughs> Is there a list of how many levels of hell I've reached? Well, there's seven, crossed? right? According to Dante, Dante or something. Dante Inferno. Yes. All right. <laughs> Your turn, sir. All right. That is all for Wayne's Weird Table. Okay. The Weird Table Award. Re- once again. Mel Brooks, Alex Trebek. Yeah, Mother Trebek. And yeah, George Donner. That is unbelievable. How- Mel Brooks would have a field day with, with Donner. Right? How funny would that be? Hey, you like you like do you like having sauce with your with your human? <laughs> well, do you want a little you want a little good field? Do you smoke your do you smoke your human before you eat it? Put it on the bagel. What do you, I eat that shit. I don't know. That sounds dirty. Uh, All right. Who, who's up uh, after? After Wayne. The most disturbing. And his cannibalistic ever. friend is George Boy 2. These were, again, in the order of responses. So two answered first. All right. I like it. Okay. Scott Van Pelt, number one on the table. That's unfortunate. Why? You don't like SVP? I do, but it's. It's like they made him this thing of he, he like a Berman replacement. Yeah, I mean he got to interview Tiger Woods and no, it's tons really, of it's very interesting. But like Patrick would have been more interesting. For who's me. Patrick? Dan Patrick. Oh, okay. Because I think he was one of more of the original. Scott Van Pelt is a very good at what he does. ESPN's just lost a lot of its oomph with me. Okay, well think think about Scott Van Pelt when it comes to who's who's also present at the table. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, I'll keep that in mind. Okay. But I also Back pocket that. Shit. I got Dean Patrick as my lead anchor at this moment. Okay. <laughs> Next I thing. think Scott Van Pelt's more interesting than Dan. Pa- Do you think? Patrick, yeah. I think Dan's pretty fun. I think they're both pretty entertaining. Actors. I like Scott Scott Van Pelt, but I think so. I think some of the guys are really good, and some I never liked. Like, here we go. R.I.P. Stuart Scott. I like Stuart Scott. I was not a fan. His booyahs and the cools the other side of the pillow is bullshit. I love that. It made me want to kick. Dude, that's it made where me, I... It made me want to hit a jugs machine into his eye and break his orbital bone. Oh, oh dude. Shit. That's the worst thing you've ever said. <laughs> but Not I that. love when he said, uh, no. you can't stop him, you can only hope to contain him. That shit cracked me up. Did he invent that? I think so. And then when SNL did a spoof on that, with uh, uh, Ray, Romano. Ray Romano, he goes, Spank your mama's when he babies. goes, sweet sassy molasses, look at that basket. Like, that shit was oh, so man. funny. That was if that it was wasn't a... for Stuart Scott, we would have never had that SNL special. Well, Stuart Scott was played by Tim Meadows, yes, and that's correct. And that's correct. <laughs> you kiss your mother with the oh, I do, I do get my breaks and minus. <laughs> what the hell I is will... sweet sassy? I said, <laughs> he goes up to him, he says, You are gonna pay a lot for this muffler. I go, You will not pay a lot for this muffler. As he ducks on him, or he said I don't something. Remember about. That it was about I want something about paying a lot for this muffler. Is he was just making fucking stupid commercials yes, about correct. Midas or whatever. Um, have you ever seen the actual the original kid in college on YouTube that it's, it's type like boom goes a dynamite, uh, reading news or something? Okay, and it's this college kid's like. Like the the stuff's going through and you're trying to keep up with the scene, right? You're trying to paint the picture of the Joe passes it to Tom. Tom puts it up for three. Oh, and it's good, right? And he's like, Joe, uh, and Tom and and it's like already on the next like thing. <laughs> and then and then the guy shoots and he goes and and boom, goes the dynamite. Like that was like his 
It's pretty amazing. That's funny. Maybe I'll add that on. You should. It's in the show notes. You watch it after. It's like literally a minute and a half. It's worth it. Okay. Who's next? Next. Scott Van After Pelt. sitting next to Scott. Yes, in this group. Van Pelt did at anyone, Georgia.2's table. Go did ahead. anyone do individuals? Did anyone do one-on-ones? Like, do you, I would assume Megzi now, if having the choice of who she has, she'd want one-on-ones now. Because if it was David Beckham, I, I'd want a one-on-one. <laughs> You need some alone time I need some with alone. David. Yeah, I don't think I'd have the three. I mean, you two, I'll have dinner with you two later. David, you're coming with me tonight. Uh, <laughs> I sound like the most sick bastard. Yeah, maybe you should invite David and then George Donner and you could, guys could have David for dinner. Don't tempt you. That sounds delicious. I don't have to. I don't have to swallow it to swallow it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't know either. All right. Next that to Scott disgusting. Van Pelt. Yes. At Georgia Botu's table is MCA. From like Run the MC? Oh, no, no. From Beastie Boys. From the Beastie Boys. MCA. Is he the one who's alive or did he, believe, is he the one who passed away? I think with he the passed cancer? away. I don't, I don't know for sure. Okay. He I is one of the MCA. boys of Beastie. Yes. From the East Coast. Yes. From the Easty Coasty with the White Castle in there. Yeah. <clears throat> Brass monkey. Uh, uh, funky uh, monkey. Uh, uh, girls. Dun, 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 Get off me, bro. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Okay, are, are you ready for the piece, the La Resistance? He this? was. He passed. He passed away. He's the one who passed in 2012. Yeah. I think he died of, I think it was Some kind of cancer. cancer. He was young, right? Yeah, in his was, 40s. Yeah, he was young. Okay. He was 48. So it wasn't like crazy. I mean, 30, 40, 47. So middle aged. Yeah, middle aged. <gasps> Shit. Like us. I'm like, I'm going to be 47 this year. Fuck you, bro. I'm older than you. You're going to be some other number. I'm going to be some other name. Anyway, well, who's next? Okay. Across from Scott Van Pelt is MCA. MCA! Next to MCA and Scott Van Pelt, Allen Iverson. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's so eclectic, dude. And I don't like that guy, but that's some funny shit. I would, okay. If I were going to have Allen Iverson, yeah. I would also have Mora. Who's Mora? Jim Mora, the head coach. Oh, the who, Indianapolis cause, Colts. Because he'd be like, practice. <laughs> we talk about practice. And he goes, playoffs, playoffs. And he'd be like, practice oh, playoffs. Dude, that would be so funny well f- we, we what, about, win a game. what about the playoffs what? are you uh, we we stunk damn toad practice what about those two along with the old arizona cardinals coach when he said we they were who we thought we were yeah, and we let them off the hook. dennis green <laughs> there you go Don't forget there's him. your three weirdos there's our three. Oh man those three in a fucking practice playoffs <laughs> we don't practice not a game not a game not a game stop it we know any other comments? Not a game. On Scott Van Pelt, MCA, and Allen Iverson. I think that would be an interesting It would be watch. fun as shit. Allen, Allen, man, he's sad. He would never shut up. No, I think he'd be pretty chill. No. Um, what's interesting is um, how much money he had and how much money he made and how broke he is. I thought that was the case. Like, super broke. And he's super made like... Broke. He made between, I think he made almost 200 million. Okay. If not, I knew it was a hundred. It was over a hundred. I think it was approaching 200 God. and he, it's gone. Wow. It's gone. That's, That's great. sad. And you know, it's how practice. <laughs> not you had practice at spending money. Not a game. You're talking practice. Anyway. All right. All that's right. It's good. That's a nice little trifecta. Yeah. Uh, next up, Georgia boy three with one of my, he stole one of mine. Julius Caesar. That was on my list. So that is my honorable mention. Thought about it. Okay. Share. Share because, well, he's the because first you, emperor. you had him on your list. He's the first emperor of Rome, right? And uh na- I mean he was called a tyrant because over you know, he was elected by the Senate. But then over time he became, you know, a crazy psychotic king head type figure. And then he was killed by all the senators and Brutus. Do you think he'd be good fucking dinner company? Because, see, that's kind of what I'm kind of thinking about a vibe I'm trying to say. Like, do I want to, is it interesting to have fucking Hitler at the table? Sure, be interesting to have Hitler at the table. Is it interesting to have uh, Genghis Khan at the table or Attila the Hunt? Sure, be interesting. Vlad the Impaler? 
Sure. But eh. I'm just asking. I'm not I'm not criticizing. I'm asking the question. I think it would be incredibly interesting to ask them what their frame of mind was when they were making the decisions they were making. Right. Just to pick their brain. I would find that fascinating. The Absolutely. Pro the problem with this is we're talking about we're putting a, some kind of personality on these people without knowing them. So oh, that's you don't know true. that they'd fucking want to answer your goddamn fucking questions. They might want to fucking come at you with the butter knife. Like you don't fucking know. Well, we're gonna have to assume that there's no butter knife there, uh, and that what? they're gonna how, be civil. How does one spread the butter? Uh, they just dip the <laughs> bread in do the they, bucket. Do they yes, just, <laughs> they just the bread in the butter, the yes. whip butter, freshly churned. Yes. No, I'm just saying, like... I see your point. It, it's kind of one of those things where it's like, I agree, and I put... Once again, I take all these weird factors into account. It's like... Well, don't do that. It's a, a pleasant, fictional I know, conversation. But, but would they be a pleasant company? Well, it's only a dinner, dude. It's not like you're going to fucking marry him. That's true. Bro. Yeah. I mean, do I really want Napoleon to have Napoleon complex the whole fucking time while we're having dinner? Well, he can't reach you the could say, hey, dude, table. do you know they named a complex after you? Do you know I need to we give you the... Hey, have you seen these things? They're called phone books. Go sit on them, you short fuck. <laughs> Why am I laughing at my own joke? That was awful. Don't laugh at my own yeah, joke. I don't appreciate the short jokes, bro. You and I are... We are phone bookless. We are just at... You know that you must be this tall to sit at this table to eat dinner? We, we're we're we barely that. that tall? Yeah, we, we're... We're barely allowed... When we do one of these, yeah. the angle thing at a... The yeah. upward angle. Yeah, that's us. We're there. We're barely able to ride the rides at Disneyland. Yes. Okay. But but we but we can. Napoleon cannot. Okay. Napoleon's not allowed on the roller coaster. That's short fuck. Good thing Napoleon made no one's list. Oh, that's interesting. Yes. I'm surprised by that. But anyway, I okay, thought so about see, it, Caesar. Yeah. Yes. Julius Caesar. Your, I would like to know your replacement when you when when that comes up. Okay. Next to Julius Caesar is Winston Churchill. I talk is how uh, I thought about I thought about doing a te uh, Franklin Roosevelt Winston Churchill Stalin kind of dinner. Oh yeah, just because like at that moment. Phew, or Mussolini. Now he's already dropped out at that point. Oh, okay, he's a piece of shit anyway. Well, he's that it, ill regardless. Yeah, yeah, Mussolini would been interesting, but the, this would have been Allied powers because remember. Yeah. How the fuck did Russia, UK, and other than having the same common enemy, how did they that, really get along? Because the second, the second that was over, yeah, the they Cold were, War no started. One, right, no one was really friends. The second Operation Correct. Paperclip came in, and we took our scientists, and Russia took theirs because they got a good chunk of them. I think they got a good third of them, if yeah. not of that. If not, they got the majority of them actually. Yeah, which is interesting. Anyway, all right, like it. Uh, Dagazawa. Between Julius Caesar and Winston Churchill is Ty Cobb. The racist motherfucker? I don't know if he was racist. Wasn't is it the one that played by uh meh, the under siege guy, uh, Tommy Lee Jones? Ty uh, Cobb wasn't Ty Cobb played by Tommy Lee Jones in the movie? I don't know. He was. He's a piece of shit. Okay, cool. He was a baseball player. Yeah, I understand. He for was for all the people that don't know, not a nice I, person. I don't. I can't. They, they named a salad after him. I heard. I delicious. Ham, eggs, get off me, bro. I didn't say it, man. Bacon. Bacon. That is all for Georgia Boy 3. All right. Julius Caesar, Winston Churchill, and Ty Cobb. I think that's cool as shit. Two world leaders and... And then well, a baseball guy. Baseball guy. Cool. One of the base, best baseball players ever to live. Probably top 10. Pitcher. Not a belly itcher. Batter, not a chicken platter no. also. Correct. It's uh, fantastic that in the past three minutes you precogged Two of the next three responses. You jerk face. <laughs> uh, I have that effect. So Georgia Boy won. First is his paternal great-grandfather. This gentleman traveled from the Ukraine to the Arctic Circle to work on a ship. And that's how he made it into the United States. That's fucking awesome. And according to records at Ellis Island, he had tattoos on his arms. Oh, well done. That deserves some credit. Right? Yeah. Give it up. All right, what's the next one over there? Uh, after the, after his great-grandfather is Vlad the Impaler. <laughs> you jerk face. <laughs> For those that don't know, Vlad the Impaler... Why the fuck would Vlad the Impaler pop into my head of all fucking people? <sighs> 
I'm sorry, man. I even went Vlad the Impaler. God damn it. <laughs> Vlad the Impaler, also known as Vlad the Third, or Vlad Dracula. Correct. He lived around the... Fort- t- 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 today, Junior. Today, I'm sorry, I missed a sentence. He lived around 1450. He's often considered one of the most important rulers in history of Romania. He was also the basis for the character Dracula in, Dracula. from Bram Stoker. Dracul. Jace. All right. Well, that, there's my one precog. The second precog next to Vlad the Impaler at this amazing dinner party. So Vlad is number two, though. Vlad is... So we have the paternal grandfather from right. the Ukraine. Right. Oh, and then this guy and from then Romania. And Vlad the Impaler from... Motherfucking... He's, what, yeah, what's he's, with your East Blight? He's, he's dark, motherfucker. Well, no, he's got... That's... Uh, what is he? Slav. He's like, I'm Slavic. <laughs> Oh, he is. Oh, he's that's a where that's where his ancestors come from. Uh, he comes from Georgia. His ancestors come from the you know, Eastern Bloc. I'm forward to looking. I bet he'd Jeez. be friends with the Czech mark. They are Czech very Republic, good friends. Well, in Czech Republic, Romania, Serbia, and uh, Slovakia all together in one country, all under the Eastern Bloc. We are we're very very happy. Your neighbors. Yes, good friends. Of ours. Yes. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> welcome. Weddy, weddy, <laughs> weddy, weddy. Welcome, Victor, Victor Seven. After Vlad the Impaler at the dinner party, Number three is the precogged Attila the Hun. God, of the of the fucking ones I mentioned, those are the two that I would never have guessed. If you, I started fucking just saying shit to say shit, and then boom. I had I had fucking Napoleon, Napoleon, Hitler, Stalin. We even talk Mussolini. We talk fucking Genghis Khan. I go to Attila and Vlad, and those are the two fucking ones that are on the list? Yes. Congratulations. Well, I'll give it a manual. A manuel. Awesome. Who's next? Attila the Hun oh, <laughs> was the ruler of the Huns. the Huns. From 434 until his death in 453, he was the leader of the tribal empire consisting of Huns, in other words, I don't know, in Central and Eastern Europe. <laughs> We should do a totally investigative show where, like, um, there are words on the screen. There are more words. It does say something about what we're talking about, but I'm not certain what they are, and I can't share them with you right now. But they are there, so just trust us that they're there. Words that I don't know. <laughs> oh, I love you, man. All right. The words that I don't know so Attila, are Ostrogoths, Alans, and Bulgars. That's okay. Vlad. Attila, Attila and Grandpa. And Grandpa. Great Grandpa. Great, 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 great Grandpa, right? Great Grandfather. Great Grandfather. Okay. Got it. All right. Who's next? That's a fucked up table right there, bro. Yeah, but only because I don't know the Grandfather. That's just, that's going to be an interesting table for sure. Yeah. This is a weird one. They're forward to looking for the butter knife. I'm forward to looking for this. I look to stab you in the throat. <laughs> Pass the butter. <laughs> uh, next up is backdoor Commodore, Danny G. Backy. And he's starting off with Nikola Tesla. Not the 80s metal band, not the car, the inventor. Nikola mm-hmm. Tesla was a Serbian-American inventor, electrical and mechanical engineer, and futurist best known for his contributions to the design of the modern alternating current electricity supply system. Everyone's hearing me breathing. I know. What do you have to say, Checkmark, you prick? That was my fucking third one. <laughs> God fucking damn it. No one's coming to dinner with me now. Fuck. You You're coming to dinner with me well, on Sunday, and that's it. The Beckhams. That's it. It's going to be you. Bro, the Beckhams. Oh, and the back. Can we invite the Beckhams? Fuck yeah. Can we, uh, can we have a FMMM? MMFM? Is it? Okay. What? Oh, God. Is that, It'd would, be a would, hold on. MMMF. Right. Is it an MMMF? Is it an MFMM? An MMFM? Or an MFMM? Is it F M M M? F M M M. Right. It's F. Which one would? How, no. Which is the best? It's F M cubed. Okay, that sounds pretty good. You're welcome. However, <laughs> I think the one that gives the best visual of what's happening yeah. <laughs> would be M F M M. Yeah, you're right. I just feel like it would be an M F M M. I I I would not want to be there for that because I don't want to see your junk, bro. Oh, it'll Sorry. be hiding. Don't you worry. It'll be tucked in? <laughs> it'll be hiding somewhere. <laughs> Do not worry, sir. You will not see it. I promise you will not Thank see the it. the gods. 
So are we done with that? <laughs> that was the weirdest Sh- fucking thing ever. Parade. Happened. Yeah. Okay. So after People Mr. Fiesta. Tesla, <laughs> God. Mr. So now I have nobody. Nobody okay, knows te- okay. my sorrow. I also was going to choose Tesla. The reason why was because I feel like he had these otherworldly. I feel like he tapped into some other information that. Yeah, because that universal energy, like all those things sound like things that are very spiritually based and seem to be a lot of ringing echoes of spirituality, right? And like psychic and like this all energy, like this world that we don't understand yet. And I felt like he had a grasp of it. Okay. He beat fucking Edison and going with alternate current over direct current. Yes. And Edison was a piece of shit, and he fucking electrocuted elephants to... That's fucked up. Yeah. He electrocuted elephants to show that alternating current was um, unsafe. But it's actually safer than the direct current that he had. And it the whole point about alternating current is that it goes over distances. D- d- direct current loses... Yes. Over Transmission. Distance. Yeah, so... Yeah. It was just... And they also had a great rock band from Australia. They did? ACDC. Oh, te- I think in Tesla. No. <laughs> yeah, and now I'm really mad. Backdoor, it's the best one, man. You get, you pick the best scientist. He just seemed to have be tuned in to uh, life, other stuff. Well, outside or the stuff we don't understand yet. That's what it feels like. Okay. The whole free energy stuff. He had, he had a lot of cool shit. There's a lot of cool like Amazon Prime Video documentary things on him. Uh, anyway, I think we should do an Edison versus Tesla. Oh, that'd be good. Podcast. Okay. Jot it down. I'll jot you it write down. write that shit down. Uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I won't no. write it down. Don't worry. <sighs> <sighs> fucking anti Virgo. Fucking Tesla. So everyone, now four people have been taken. Yeah. Great. This I, is I, the worst through. island draft this is my, this selection is my worst ever, dinner. bro. This is my worst. Well, I just want to do somebody different. So I got to just I think agree. of somebody different, which I, I'm happy that's to what I, I took it very seriously. I've got a lot of people And I did some different ones, I think. All right. Because we're, you and I are at everyone's dinner, so it doesn't really matter. Hell yeah. We so started that's, this shit. Right. That's the whole point, is that you and I are at everyone's dinner anyway, so we got to pick three different people that everyone knows we had, because we need diversity, sir. Yeah. Spice of life. Yeah. All right. What's next? Uh, next to Nikola Tesla is Elon Musk. It's a good one. Thought about That's him and ironic because the Tesla Tesla. Tesla Tesla. Beautiful. It's a good one. How could you not? Everyone knows him. I feel like he seems like, he, I mean, I've watched him with Rogan and some other people, and he seems, you know, well, well-spoken and whatnot, but it looks like he observes and studies you way more than he shares or that he lets anything on? else. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He just, he has a way of looking, it looks like he looks over, he's always, the gears are always fucking grinding. Which yeah, because he has his own space company, so yeah. th- that that would make sense. He's got his space X Y Z, you know, all, all the of letters, them, all bro. of them, silent H. <laughs> but welcome to spacecraft, syphilis, <laughs> and spaceship. Ben Franklin, did, I know Ben Franklin did not invent the spaceship. Uh, okay. Anyway, all right. Last one next to Tesla very and Elon Musk was Jesse Marcel. Jesse Anton Marcel Sr. was lieutenant colonel in the Air Force who helped administer Operation Crossroads, the 1946 atomic bomb tests at the Bikini Atoll. Wow. Yeah, I was like, holy shit, that's that is, super interesting. That is super interesting. So yeah, Curious why he chose this person instead of the first yeah, explosion. Yeah, the 44 or the first, and 45 right. test. Is this the hydrogen, the first hydrogen bomb? It. It could have been. I don't know. Because there was one on an island. That well, yeah, was they the first did a bunch hyd- in the Pacific. Right. But I'm saying the one that was like the first hydrogen bomb. Yeah. The H-bomb. What, right. That was like how many times more destructive than just the mere atom bomb that they had uh, in Hiroshima and, and Nagasaki. It was like already that much more devastating. It's ridiculous. Anyway, that's interesting. Backdoor. Thanks for stealing. All of the checkmark thunder. All of them. Okay, well now I'm Bastard. I'm eating all alone. I'm eating my sushi all by myself. So such a sad panda. Ronri. <laughs> I so I'm gonna no, I'm yeah, gonna like, so fucking stupid. I'm gonna I'm gonna like Kim Jong un, <laughs> Dennis Rodman, <laughs> Donald Trump. Oh shit, that's gonna be a shit show. Uh you next heard about up, his relationship with Rodman, right? Yes. Like Kim Jong un. Yes. Next uh, up is uh Golf Chris. His first is George Hallis. George Stanley Hallis Sr., nicknamed Papa Bear and Mr. Everything, American football player, coach, and team owner. 
He was the founder and the owner of the National Football League's Chicago Bears and served as the head coach on four occasions. Yes, sir. Yeah. Good choice. I didn't know who that was. So I had to, I had it's to, the one GSH is on yes, their jersey. Yeah, yeah. That, that's for George Howell. Okay. Yeah. I didn't I didn't put two and seven together because I'm not good at math. So they don't go very well. They actually don't like each other very much. Two it's and an seven? odd couple. Two and seven? It's an odd, odd couple. couple. After George Hallis, dad joke man was Steve Jobs. I kind of precogged that. You did. Kind of. Kind of. We all know Mr. Jobs, Apple, all that shit. The f- iPhone. Hand, mouth, foot. Disease? Jobs. Jobs. No? What? No hand jobs? <laughs> foot jobs? Did, did the light bulb just... <laughs> 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 totally over my head, dude. Sir, I was so sorry. Did you just shave because it slipped right over your head? It went it's like... Slippery, right. bro. Nothing <laughs> stuck, man. It's like a hand and foot. And you're like... I don't know what a foot job is, so... <laughs> 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 don't, don't get away from me, bro. It's like this with your feet. Oh, I didn't know that was okay. You, you get your feet. Okay, stop you, it. Rex but, Ryan. That shit. <laughs> I never heard that expression before. Foot job, hand stuff, mouth stuff, foot stuff. You know. Anyway, God, next. I, it's not a real thing. I don't think. I think it's just because you do it with your feet, so it's a foot job. I okay. I wish George Donner would have me for dinner right now. <laughs> okay, after George Hallis and Steve Jobs, Mr. Bruce Lee, the karate specialist. He'd be interesting. I, I heard he was pretty philosophical. That would make sense. There's a 30 for 30, Be Like Water, I've been wanting to watch. Ooh, okay. Because I think it speaks about like his kind of philosophy of kind of going with the flow. Fluidity. Kind of, yeah, but I think it was just that way. Like lacking resistance through your entire life, right? Like, I think there's some Buddhist teachings about just it. I mean, you know it's happening, and then it happens, and it you're observing it happening versus like it happening to you. Mm-hmm. It seems like a pretty passive way to get through life. Whoa, I like it. Bro, whoa. And there's one more. Golf, Chris. No, that was three. George Hallis, Steve Jobs. Oh, Steve Bruce, Jobs Lee. And Bruce Lee. He did have an honorable mention. John Holmes. So you know, big dig, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> And I forgot to mention, both Roberto and Golf Chris texted me right after their responses with three female porn stars. I was like, of I don't know who these people are. Yeah, but you're only having dinner with them. They're not going to have sex with you. No right. Way. So it was, Trust me. it was a funny joke. Gentlemen, who, whoever's listening to this, anyone listening to this, they're not going to have sex with you after your dinner, bro. Well, if you pay them. Oh, maybe. Maybe if they're, pro- yeah, I guess they're prostitutes. But Well, Porn stars do do that. Some are artists. Y- yeah, of course. Performers, whatever it takes. Maybe the ones that these people mention are the higher end ones now. So I they don't, probably. I don't know. I mean, it wouldn't be like Debbie. Well, <laughs> she's still alive? <laughs> I would not take Debbie now. Well, I'm just saying. And Well, this is fictional. We oh, yeah, yeah. Right? right. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Are we done? All right. Yeah. Who's next? Okay. How Felicia. many more we got? Like a handful? We ten? got five. Oh, that's perfect. Uh, Felicia's next with the Obamas. Michelle and Barack, they were a tie with the Gates. Melinda and the other guy. William. William. William Billy Gates. Billy Gates. All right. So she has the Obamas. That's two people. The Obamas and Jesus at Felicia's dinner party. And she said Jesus only because, quote, I would want to know if he was legit. Well, can he be too Mary would say that he's to too legit to quit. I thought about Jesus as well, but just because he existed doesn't mean he was still the son of God. Like, just because there was a guy named Jesus, they still could have written the shit about him like it was fake. Yeah. So that, I pulled it very quickly off the table. I, I would like to know, of, of, of course. But how would you know? You'd just have to have take his word for it. He's already said in books that we don't believe. What's, what's well, going to be maybe, different? Well, maybe we're face? full of shit. Well, we're definitely full of shit, but you see my point. Do I? <laughs> All right. Are you done? I do, I do see it. I'm just wondering because like someone who thinks they're the Messiah is going to say they're the Messiah. 
Whoa. So if they're delu- whether they're delusional or the son of God, they're going to say they're. Well, the didn't David Koresh think he was? The oh, that's I was going to say that, but I didn't. Did I precog you? You pre- you you just cogged me. I just cogged. Yeah, you just cogged we me. broke you, even. You dug in right into brain. We, right we into broke even. I thought about it. I'm like, yeah, I shouldn't. I'm not going to bring up David. We're just going to keep moving forward. Okay. So the Obamas and Jesus. I like it. Those Jesus are good Cristo. Okay. Um, Steve. I think Obama and Michelle would be very interesting to have a conversation. Obama and Michelle. Yeah. You wouldn't hear any secrets, though. You wouldn't know about the UFOs or anything. They wouldn't tell you shit. I'm just saying. I know that's wouldn't. sad. It makes me so sad. It does make me sad. Anyway, <laughs> with our fictional dinner party, <laughs> uh, I'd be fictitionally sad. Felicia's brother-in-law Jeff is in town, so he got to also respond. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, Jeff has Hefe, Hefe, Jace, or is that Chief? Is Hefe Chief Jace, is or? yeah correct? Uh, Jeff said Billy Idol, because something about the Rebel Yell, bro. Are you going to ask him to ask Billy Idol why he wreck, uh, totaled your car? Ah, bastard. <laughs> and, what, how, and how does he get his hair to be so magical? Hey, Jeff. Jeff. It's I, your... Look, look. I know I'm going to be there. Cradle of love, bro. I, what I, the shit? I know I'm going to be there, too, because we're going to all at dinner parties. Yeah, yeah. However, I, I need you to do me a favor, man. I can't take the heat for this. I need you to ask <laughs> Mr. Billy Idol why Billy. his song totaled my car. In 19... 19- 90. <laughs> Thank you. Bam. Uh, after Billy Idol, he has Arthur Pedragon. Arthur you, Pedragon man. is a British eco campaigner, neo druid leader, media personality, self declared reincarnation of King Arthur. Pedragon was the battle chieftain of the Council of British Druid Orders. I don't know what any of that means, Wait, bro. Can we get a year of this? 1954, he was born. So this dude who's alive right now thinks he's King Arthur. <laughs> it's the look that I gave you when Te- when Tesla was announced in all my dinner. So parties. did you have King Arthur <laughs> on your t- at your table? No. no. Okay, cool. <laughs> no, this is just bullshit. Richard the Lionhearted. <laughs> 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 okay, dude. Okay, this is awesome. Okay, Jeff's dinner party consists of Billy Idol. Okay, wait for it. <laughs> the reincarnation of King Arthur. <laughs> wait for it. And Elizabeth Shue. I'm trying to never come out my nose. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Billy Idol, Elizabeth Shue, King Arthur. What is what's Elizabeth Shue in recently? The, the boys. The boys, right? Season one. She looked great, dude. You like her a lot. <coughs> I, I've always thought she was over. Don't fuck cocktail. with the babysitter. She was hor- horrible in cocktail. Well, so was Tom Cruise. But I would get, I would have dinner with Tom Cruise, Brian Brown, and Elizabeth Shue. Oh my God, you're dying. And we'd have an M F M M. No, man. <laughs> I'm done with all your fucking acronyms, dude. Yeah, she looked. I felt she looked. She did look great. Wait for it. For her age. Yeah, she's 50 and change, dude. She's, she looked very nice for her age. That's right. I'm gonna, I'm what gonna was the name of the her. of the gang in Adventures in Babysitting? I don't remember. Lords of the Underworld? No, that's South Park. <laughs> I don't. Oh, I honestly shit. don't remember. I've watched that movie like once, oh, it's maybe so twice. so good, dude, with Thor. But like so, so long good. ago. So long ago. Next. Yes. Next up is Brian with Abe Lincoln. I had him, top hat. Vince Lombardi. I wonder if those two jawing at the, each other. Uh, Vince one Lombardi. Talks, one talks football strategy. Yeah, I got him pass on the line. He goes, well, you got to bring these guys around to flank. Uh, Vince Lombardi, that those don't know, was a NFL football coach for the Green Bay Packers, and the Super Bowl trophy is named after Vince Lombardi. The Lombardi trophy. The Lombardi Did trophy. you know? I did not. Are you, You're familiar with Joe Paterno, correct? Yeah. Joe Paterno was the in the high the New York State Championship football game, high school football game. He was the safety or the or like a cornerback on the field when Lombardi was coaching the op- opposing team wow. high school team. Wow. The opposing team's high school yeah. was coached by Vince Lombardi. Yeah. And Joe Paterno was a cornerback on the other team. It's just a weird fucking game. That's weird. Weird away. Yeah. Very good. Uh, in uh, between Abe Lincoln and Vince Lombardi, <clears throat> yes, George Lucas. Thought about him. 
So if if you did invite George Lucas, would you say thank you so much for creating Star Wars? What were you thinking? How did you come up with all those storylines and ships and this and that? Or would you do? Would you say, dude, fuck you, George Binks? What would you? <laughs> You son of a bitch. What would you do? You know where I'm going. Yeah, you're like, you, you fucking ruined it. George. Jorge. George, Bubba. <laughs> Jar Jar. Ewoks. Oh, yeah. I know they're like the little reading. fucking birdie thing. Come on. What the fuck? Stop cutesy. Stop cutesying this shit up. You take a fucking ray of light and you slice people in half with it and then you soften it up with Jar Jar Binks. What is your, what is your deal? Yeah. Because that's exactly, makes zero sense. That's exactly correct, sir. Anyway, I Abe Lincoln, Vince Lombardi, George Lucas. I, I wonder if George Lucas would be interesting or boring as fuck, or like so pompous. I I don't know. I've seen interviews with him where he looked like he was good. Because I've heard him actually say stuff like, "No, there's a group of people like Jar Jar." Well, that's a lie. I know. So I think it was on he, Daily Show. Was he, on a Daily what's Show? He worth, is he worth like two billion? Well, he sold for four billion. He sold Lucasfilm for four. Lucasfilm sold for four billion. Was, okay, I thought it was two, but that's fine. But they made. They've already made like twenty. They already made back. it back. Yeah. Like. Oh yeah, billion. hand over fist, of course. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. What are your thoughts about him as an interesting of a, of the directors like Scorsese? Yeah, because no. I I would prefer. Um, Big Star Wars fan. Well, yeah, of course I am. And so no, is no, Brian. no, Brian. That's what I'm saying. Is Brian more? Of yes, a Star Wars he is. Fan. But I would prefer Spielberg because of Raiders of the Lost Ark and ET. Than George Lucas and his hand in Star Wars, and, correct? Absolutely. I mean, but you've got those. You've also got all the other stuff I did. Close Encounters was yeah, big, obviously yeah. for you and I. Close Encounters, not ET. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, he did. He, did he, he Spielberg? Did yeah. Spielberg? Spielberg? Yeah. I think he did ET also. Yeah, he did. He had batteries not included as alien in nature. I mean, it's kind of uniquely. I know it's goofy, kind yeah, of soft. But kids, right? Yeah, but it's not. I mean. He flirts with a lot of topics that seem interesting that are not of this world. Anyway, um, but do you take him, Scorsese, Kubrick, James Cameron? Like, because I would think, like, I'd want to, I think that's a cool thing to have as a director. I just don't know which one I take. Yeah. Or movie guy. Yeah. I, yeah, absolutely. I, I totally see your point. Anyway. That's Brian Stable, Lincoln Lombardi, and George Lucas. Ah, the L party yes party of l a uh, table for three lincoln come this way please lombardi and, and lucas. lucas wow beautiful that's why he did it yeah uh, obviously l3 yeah of course uh next up my cousin jose luis has jesus i think that's our third jesus i believe it is jesus sir it's anthony is <laughs> the third coming of christ uh next to jesus is sir anthony hopkins with some fava beans. And th that'd be an interesting one. I'd love to pick his brain about the acting and how he gets methody and whatnot. Yeah. Or if he, is he, t I guess he's methody, right? I would think so. A little bit. Yeah. Not Heath Ledger methody, but. No. But uh, methody. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. I like it. Uh, Jesus, Sir Anthony Hopkins, and Edward Van Halen. With my cousin Recently is a, passed My Edward cousin's a big Van Halen fan. Are you going to give him the pick? What do you mean? Oh, I no, oh, yeah, uh, no, it's framed on my wall, bro. Okay, I was just asking. I'm no. saying because, like, if he's That's a bigger one, pick. I know, man, it's gifted to you. But for you, he to can do come visit want. whenever he wants. Oh, pay, that's pay, pay homage. Come on out, right? Has he ever visited? Uh, one time. Have you ever visited there? Oh yeah, all the time. Yo, yo, yeah. cousin, cuz, yeah, cuz, come on out, bro. I know. Come on, I mean, I'm sorry. Come on out, cuz. What am I calling, bro? I don't call cousin a bro. So he's got cuz is gonna come out. Yeah. All right. What do we got next? Uh, Vince is next with JFK. Always good. See, nope, I thought first one chosen. If I did JFK, would I have also done Marilyn Monroe? Ooh, you know, be fun to see the fireworks. At and that table. what's his name? And then I would invite Castro. Jackie O. Uh, Castro. Oh no, I was thinking Jackie O. Nah. And then watch, watch the two chicks go at it. Mm. On you, hey yo, M M M M F F F F F. <laughs> I didn't think that would become a theme of today's uh, podcast. But. All right, Vince has got JFK. Yeah, so Marilyn, and then you would you would want I Castro. Just, I, I thought that'd be you know that'd be interesting. See some Why fireworks? Marilyn? Just to see because the she's hot as fuck. Oh yeah, well. <laughs> she's the most beautiful creature to mm. ever live, man. <laughs> and, wow, that's bold. I mean, it's pretty bold. I mean, I'm not saying it's untrue. Birthday. 
That's Check just a mark. That's a bold fucking Happy statement. Happy birthday to you. Beautiful. I love it. So next to JFK is Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth. JFK. Babe, Babe Ruth. Ruth. Yes. Okay. Baseball player. Yeah. yeah. Just for those not who the don't candy know. bar. I got. Uh, it. That's Baby Ruth. Baby no. Ruth. Right. And not named after Babe Ruth. N- named after a baby named Ruth. Sure. I don't know. That's true. Okay. That's hey, trivial pursuit, bro. Would you uh, like to know her more? Would you like to know more? After uh, JFK, Babe Ruth is Abe Lincoln. So two presidents and a baseball guy. A lot of baseball and a lot of like world leaders. It's really interesting. Okay. Why ba- baseball? Have you seen my baseball? It's not the most exciting sport. Where would you think that the most exciting people would come from it? Like, I don't know, dude. No, no, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I do know what you're saying. Of all, the, okay. <laughs> I, because I need new names, I'm starting to think again now. So my gears are grinding. Okay. Keep it. Keep doing it. Good. I hope 16 people here are going <laughs> to precog the fuck out of you. I hate you, fucker. Uh, I lost my own. Mine. You've lost one. I yeah. lost I lost four. And we only had three people four. that were taking. This is awful. All right. Next up is Mackenzie. She's got Tesla. Andrew Jackson. Andrew's on the 20. Andrew Jackson was an American soldier and statesman who served in the seventh president of the United States from 1829, 1837. Why him? I think that he, she liked the fact that he did something with the federal reserve and it was a different way to view government money and stuff like that. I don't know all the specifics about his involvement with the reserve. I thought that was Alexander. No, don't say it. After Tesla and Andrew Jackson. His name is Alexander (laughs) Hamilton. (laughs) You knew it was coming. No, dude. Edgar Cayce. And I knew the name, but I had to look it up. Uh, Edgar Cayce was an American clairvoyant (coughs) who coughed a lot. And claimed uniquely to channel his own higher self. Casey's channeling sessions happen in a trance state that he would induce with help from a friend or his wife. When he became accustomed enough, he could do so on his own. So he was a freaky dude. Yeah, he read Akashic Records. He had a bunch of predictions that allegedly supposedly happened. There's actually the Edward, Edgar Casey f- uh, Foundation. Oh, okay. Uh, there's a church. A church-ish kind of thing. Um, Reverend Lowell K. Smith in Tucson is a psychic that wrote a book called Growing Up Psychic. He and I have spoken before. We have broken bread. And he is a pastor or a reverend at the Edgar Casey Society. Wow. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. I think there are multiple. Like, you know how Unity Church is everywhere? Yeah. It's like that. Okay. Edgar Casey is a very interesting person that gets less... He's like the Tesla of of psychics. I don't know of the spiritual world. Yeah. Okay. Like doesn't get mentioned as much, but very important. Okay. Next. So uh, there you go. Tesla, Andrew Jackson, and Edgar Casey. A uh, last is so Angela. So he went with Tesla and Edgar Casey. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. She. 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 she yes. Did. Apologies. Uh, last is Angela, and first on her list is Dolly Parton. That is who Megzi replaced, one of the two that Megzi replaced. What? She had Dolly, and she's like, I think she'd be fun, and she got boobies. And I said- <laughs> Is that seriously what she said? <clears throat> yeah. And I said, I would like I would like you both to sit across from me while we're having dinner. I would love that. Is that FMF? Yeah, but <laughs> Me- Megzi has boobies, too. Four you know boobies are better than one? Four boobies are definitely better than one, <laughs> and better than two. Right. And three as well. More the boobies, the merrier. Yeah, I mean, it depends. I don't know how much motorboating you got in you. Oh, like you might run a out lot. of gas. No, I got <laughs> I got a diesel backup generator, bro. I got backup. I got fuel reserve for my motorboating skills. <laughs> <laughs> you motorboating skills. Yeah, that was. <laughs> what are your thoughts about Dolly? I think it's great. I think it's <clears throat> and she'd be super. She seems real down to earth, and she's probably got amazing stories, and she'd be really cool to hang out with, and have a cocktail, and you know, some ribs or something. I love it. Uh, next up were two choices that were challenging because she didn't know what to say. So next to Dolly Parton 
She said, quote unquote, a pretty man. So I just inserted David Beckham. Insert David Beckham anywhere pretty man is requested. <laughs> uh, next to Dolly Parton and a pretty man was her great grandmother, her paternal great grandmother. It's because she wanted to get all the recipes and the family gossip. <clears throat> I love it. That's awesome. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm looking up. Oh, Nancy's. we didn't do tennis style. No, no, we're going. You and I are going to do tennis style. Oh, Everyone okay. else's. So, okay. Magsy's BFF, yeah. with whom she's going to go on a wine sipping tour in the Cottonwoods. The Cottonwoods on the Valentine's without me. So and you me. and I are having our Berlin's Day. Yes, at the Hana with some sush. Hi. And some bring your own and some drinks. Teriyaki chicken. Last night we're all sitting here because Wednesdays is when we, you and I normally record because Magsy and her BFF hang out. So yeah. it works and out very well. Drink wine and watch Jeopardy. Yes. But unfortunately, they watch Harlots and Bridgerton and uh, what the, the fuck Handmaid's is Tale. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No. Okay. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. Uh, they're, they're shows that like are on TV anymore. with women that watch other women. What? I don't know. The Real Housewives of Bridgerton? Anyway. But unfortunately, unfortunately you were unable to make it yesterday. Uh, yeah, I was golfing, bro. So I had the lovely pleasure of hanging out with them for a little bit of time. That's nice. Before running and hiding into the corner. <laughs> Were <laughs> because, you, well, uh, you like a me. bad student? Go put your nose in the corner? Yeah, because I'm the one who disrupts. So I don't want to disrupt them anymore. So Megzi's BFF had two. She did not provide a third. Okay. The first person was Ellen. Degenerous. As degenerous. Does, is Portia going to be there? Porsche de Rossi, de la Rossi. Maybe that's her third. She, I guess she could bring Porsche. Porsche's cool. I would love if she brought Porsche. She'd be fun. Yeah. I don't see. She, do you think she's very attractive? Yeah. Do you? I'm, I think she's, she's a very way beautiful too skinny. woman. She needs I'm nine not, Big Macs. I think she's a very attractive person. I am not as attracted to her. Like, you know how there's people who are just objectional, objectively beautiful? And you're like, I, I think no matter what you are, you're objectively beautiful. But you can have, like, but some people you're just like, man, I'm, like, really drawn to them. And there are people that are attracted that you're not drawn to. Or are you drawn? Does your does What your, are you talking does about? Does your dingy go in the direction of all beautiful things? Yeah, women. Breathing? Breathing, women, and David Beckham. <laughs> I don't know why and I Brad lost Pitt her second choice. And Brad Pitt in Legends of the Fall. Damn it, I lost her second choice. That's going to kill me. It's Portia de Rossi or Portia, whatever the fuck her name is. Fuck. Poop. Now I'm upset. Oh, no. It was really good. It was another woman. Okay. It was really good. Ellen. I got so thrown by Ellen because anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, are you ready for yeah. Magsies? Jace. Oh, she does want Dolly. So she kept Dolly in there. Okay. Whew. Gosh, darn excellent. Two dollies. Two dolly parts. That's four boobs. Great. Working nine to five. Number two mm -hmm. is the most terrible, terrible. Get out of the city. Terrible. No choice. way. Chuck. Chuck. She picked Chuck. AKA Charlie Barkley. That's awesome. I thought that was a phenomenal choice as well. I gotta give her some credit for that. The third. Mm -hmm. And and Barkley's great. Yeah, The Rock. Boo. So I wrote. Initially, she had chosen Oprah. Yeah. And then she looked at me and go, "Oh God, no! I can't do that because you're going to shit all over that answer." And I said, "No, this. What's I think be very interesting. I think it'd be very interesting. However, just regardless of what you think of someone, it'd be an interesting conversation. Or yeah, we can ask her about eugenics. The wall. Yeah, and the whole other stuff. The whole <clears throat> other stuff. So I go. So she sends me that. And then she goes, no, I write, no Oprah? She writes, no Oprah. I think she just end up annoying us all. Charles Barkley cracks me up. Oh, and the third? The Rock. <laughs> Dwayne Johnson. And then she goes, and The Rock seems smart, charming, just really good to look at. So if the dinner party doesn't go well, I can just get drunk and look at him. So it's another shirtless man yeah. at our dinner parties. Topless Rock. All right, sir. I believe it's our turn. Is it our turn? Is it? Are we flipping yeah. a coin? No, you go a first. A proverbial coin? You go first, man. Uh, obviously, Julius Caesar was my first answer, and that has been stricken from the record because GB3 well, already picked who's it. Who's your replacement? My replacement is Leonardo da Vinci. I'm like, DiCaprio? Are you Not fucking kidding me? DiCaprio. Da Vinci's Da Vinci. Good. 
I'm assuming in this whole thing you can you have a translator or you can understand yes, the language. That that also was a clarifying okay. question somebody asked. We assumed Good. that we would all be speaking the same language. That is correct. Good to ask that an hour and a half. Because he's Italian. Good to ask that. Like, yeah. Almost towards the end of the thing. Okay. I got I like Da Vinci. I got uh, Da Vinci because I don't really care about the Mona Lisa, but that's probably what he's most known for. He painted the Last Supper. He had designs for helicopters, gliders, and was one of the first people to understand the circulation of blood. He also realized the earth revolved around the sun, anticipating future work of Copernicus and Galileo. So I like the fact that the dude was incredibly diverse. He painted amazing things that are around 600 years later, and he thought of a helicopter 600 year, 500 years before flight. So, and then he contemplated the universe. That's a very eclectic range, and that's why I picked that dude. It's very interesting with him because it seems like he exhibits both left and right brain dominance. Yeah, he's very creative. How can you both be creative and technical? And, like, technical and, like, and draw and, a helicopter? And, right. Well, that could be the creative part, but the stuff behind it had a lot of technical stuff. Yeah, right? like, yeah, you're right. He's too, he's dual brained. I mean, that's. Wonder if he has two, four boobs. That's the dangerous person, isn't it? You know, it's like, it's funny because we talk about like intellect or whatever. I know some stupid motherfuckers who are some amazing artists. Oh, yeah. Like, and it's just, the brain is a different brain. It's of course. It completely works differently. It's dominated by other portions. Other portions are lit up on fire way more than others. Yeah. Um, but to have the ability to both paint, sculpt, and have blueprints of some sort, it, uh, astounding. Yeah. Astounding. Yeah. That, and, and at that time. Late 1400s, yes, sir. Yeah, like you were yeah. special. Good special. Good special. All right. All right. My, anything else you'd like to say about no, Leonardo before we uh, continue? Leonardo DiCaprio da Vinci. DiCaprio Vinci. DiCaprio Vinci. Di Cappuccino. Hey. I want a Leonardo DiCaccino. Okay. That would be fucking delicious. That sounds so good. Mm. Would it have cheese in it? No. That's a panini. A DiCaprini? What is your choice, bro? Betty White. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Motherfucker. That's awesome, She's a replacement, dude. sir. Oh, that's so good. I never thought of her. That but is She came so up last night. Awesome. All the women were clucking out there, and they're all like- You mean two? Oprah and Ellen, and I'm like, I brought up RBG, and I'm like, Dolly Parton, and I'm like, these are all great choices, and I'm like, a female- Who's been through a lot of shit? Yeah, he's ninety. Entertaining, can deliver it well. Seems to be funny, like laid back on their own, and seems to be a fun hang. Yeah, Betty motherfucking White. I mean, I, she, I, I approve that. She would not have been on the list had my other four not been taken. So thank you for taking the other four. But Betty White is definitely a great show. I would fucking, I would chew her, or is it bend her ear, chew her ear off, bend both, her, bend about, it off and eat it like George Donner match game. Yeah. Back in the day with my wife's blank really likes her husband's blank. I don't know what song. That's the dating game. That's probably dating game. But, you know, Match Game is one of my favorite ones because those are just blatantly beautiful. But Betty White's been through a lot of shit, seen a lot of movies. And she said fuck once in Lake Placid. So you can't really go wrong. Yeah, and she hosted Saturday Night Live a bunch of times. She's fucking hilarious. Yeah, she's and super she funny. She's awesome. Golden Girl. Yeah. All that time. My flying team flogging. <laughs> Did you see that newer show that she was on like a few years ago? Chicago five, Hot. Five, six years ago. Hot and it was like, in Atlanta, hot in Chicago. Yeah. Chicago. Cleveland. Cleveland, hot in Cleveland. It yeah. was really funny. Was it good? It I was didn't really good. It. And then I I lost, I don't know. I'm sure it got canceled because of Valerie Bertinelli and a yeah. couple other people. It okay. was really funny. It, it seemed the chick like a from, cool. uh, Kramer, the English chick from Kramer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I it was really name. funny. Very good. Yeah. I'll have to give it a try. I'm sure it's on one of the Hools or the- uh, TV Amazon. Land or some shit. Oh. Yeah. The I'm Hools. Sure we'll find it. Yeah. Okay. Betty White, nice job, sir. Thank you. I approve that very hard. I'm still trying to figure out the other ones. Oh. So. <laughs> I believe it's your turn, sir. My number two, which should be my number one, the Honorable Samuel Kinnison. My idol, my, the way I live my life, 
by his teachings. The comedian who passed away in 1991 or two, something like that, who I think was the funniest shit. Very quick witted. Always had he always doing cocaine. <laughs> three wives <laughs> the guy i mean the guy lived a crazy life and that's i would love to that's, have a conversation with him that's dessert uh cocaine and hookers is dessert yeah you can't that's dessert with oh Sam okay Kingston, not, not D- dinner. D- yeah. appetizers and dessert with sammy k because <laughs> i was special k because <laughs> i you know i'm i'm a big obviously i'm still a big fan and even when i listen to his his stand-up now and i've heard it 150 times it still makes me laugh and there's jokes that are just he makes fun of the Iraq war and, and Abel and I talk about what would happen if Sam lived, what would he have done? Like, think about his jokes about Monica Lewinsky. That shit would have been hysterical. I mean, the they guy, would, there would have been no gloves. The gloves would have gloveless. Been that is correct. <laughs> For it sure. would have been amazing. Yeah. Yeah. He would have been Sam Kinison, the dude. That is very, very, I couldn't, I mean, he's, he had to be on the list. Yeah. Well, for you, for sure. Yeah. It means you're idle. Yeah. He's idle. What do you got, dude? You're with Mr. Research? All right. Senor Beer Google. Because, because Mr. Ali was taken. Yeah. Have you seen this thing on Amazon Prime? I think it's like a mockumentary. It's called One Night in Miami. It's I've right not watched front. it, but, but it, it's, I've seen flooding. an ad for it. They flood the front. It's on the front cover. They flood the front. Right? It's on the front. Kind of like, like Dolly Parton thing. does? Yeah, she floods <laughs> everything. She floats, actually. But anyway, basically, One Night in Miami is a basically about four African Americans who, who may or may not have gotten together this one night, but they were all friends. And there's also a documentary about Sam Cooke, and that's who my second person would be, is Sam Cooke. Sam Cooke is a singer, African American singer, businessman, who really who work with Ali, Jim Brown, and Malcolm X? Wow! In this thing about trying to get African Americans lift. This is during the movement, during the civil rights movement. Sixties. Sixties. Okay. I think it was sixty four. As a matter of fact. Okay. Sam Cooke was shot and killed. Uh, he was only thirty three. Said that he attacked a woman, went at her at a hotel. He was didn't have his pants on. It's a really weird gray store. Very like. Sounds like a bad dream. You don't have your pants on. Yeah, and but the thing is, the guy was kind of like a businessman. He's brilliant in that way, but he's a beautiful singer, and I would have loved to just sing a duet with him. Hell Sam yeah. Cooke was my boy. This love by Pantera. But, but the connection would have been with Ali. I would have been able to hear stories of Ali uh, through him. Okay. Plus, I would have sat in on Ali himself. Yeah. But also heard about Jim Brown, which would have been pretty cool. Yeah. And Jim Brown is another. not James Brown, but Jim Brown, the football player. Correct. Not okay. James Brown, this dancer singer. Jim okay. Brown, the football actor. Yes. Player. Did you ever hear that story about the the Dirty Dozen and the whole thing with Cleveland Browns, with Jim Brown? No. Oh, biggest story about him, because we talk about Ali standing the Dirty up. Dozen, the movie. Yeah, standing up for his rights. Okay. We talk about Ali standing up for his rights. All right. Jim Brown was in the movie The Dirty Dozen. Okay, yeah. And my dad, that's his favorite movie. Shooting was running late. He was running behind, so he was. We contracted with the Cleveland Browns. Oh, okay, yeah. And the owner's like, if you don't come back here, you're fired. I'm, or you're, you're we'll release you're fi- you. You're no, not release. Fired. They owned them back then. They didn't have like releasing and waiver wire. It was weird. He's like, you're fired. I own you. Like you can't. You won't play again. He goes, cool. I quit. I retire. Never played again. Wow, no I shit. Mean, he, he left it. I don't know if he was 28 or 33, but he was still had a few. He definitely had a few years left. Yeah, he was a great running back, and he was amazing. The guy was built like a brick shit house. Yeah. And a stellar lacrosse athlete. What? He w- he scored like 40 fucking goals in like 15 games one time. Jesus. Like, yeah, he was like a Syracuse. They won the championship. Like, he was amazing lacrosse player as well. Wow. Yeah, pretty interesting. But uh, Sam Cooke was my number two because of just his connections to, to other people. You know, you would have probably seen like an Otis Redding connection. Right. Um, obviously. Otis, my man. Uh, Otis, my man. Otis, we loves us. That's Otis Day in the Nights, bro. Oh, Come wrong Otis. So sorry. But uh, yeah, he was connected to Ali. And it would have been interesting with Malcolm X and all that. So I was interested in watching that one night in Miami. My only true concern is ha- how historically accurate it is and well, how mockumentary it is. You said it's a mockumentary. I think it's mockumentary because I don't know anyone who has records of the actual meeting of them 
and recorded. Like, it'd be cool just to put a fucking video camera. Yeah. Obviously, it would have been hard in the 60s because that technology it would have been, been the size of a truck. Get, right. Or just like one of those big 8 millimeter something. Oh, corner, yeah. My just, dad had 8 millimeter. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, whatever. Um, just to see them, No sound. But it probably would have been no sound or whatever. So that would have been interesting, though, had they all gotten together and what happened. Because there's actually a cool documentary on Netflix about Sam Cooke. It's like a two-hour documentary about Sam Cooke and how he was trying to um, work on the civil rights movement. Pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I didn't know that because Sam Cooke's one of my, I'm, I'm a huge Sam Cooke fan. And then I saw this and I was like, whoa, that's cool. Yo, your, your beer makes noise, bro. It sounded so cool. Misophonia. Misophonia. That's weird. Don't hit your face in the microphone. Don't. <laughs> I can't do it. Anyway. All right. So third, last but not least. <laughs> my last choice, drum sir. Drum roll, sir. I should have, we should have guessed each other's choices because you, we never would have got any of them. I would have guessed Caesar for you, for sure. Okay. I just feel like that's a good one. First of all, it's your middle name. Your first name. Well, yeah. First of all, it's your first name. First of all, it's my first middle name. And second Secondly, of all, it's spelled it's pretty incorrectly. Cool. Right. right. Uh, but thirdly, it, I know you're a Caesar guy. Yeah. You the Romans. Rome. It's your the fa- Romans. Hey, your favorite HBO. Hey. It's Rome. Good what about it. Uh, my last choice, sir, Constantine the Great. The first holy Roman emperor, 325 AD. Your eyeballs are popping out of your head, bro. What's going on over there? I would never have guessed that. What would you have guessed? I don't know, but not that. Jim Brown. <laughs> no. no. Eric Dickerson. No. Probably. Junior um, Seau. No. One of your favorite bands. Yeah, like singers. Steve Harris from, sure. from Iron Maiden, Steve the Harris. bass player. Yes. Or Neil Peart. Pert. 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 From The Rush. Yes. No. Constantine the Great. That would be pretty cool. And so why? Me, yeah, why? I'm curious. Because he made Christianity legal. He allowed the worship. And you're okay with that? Wait for it. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, everyone, you want to worship whatever the fuck you want. Do it. Fuck yeah. So, in he was. So he in, made freedom of religion legal. Basically, yes. And it started. The trend, because it was documented he was a pagan, even though he accepted Christianity later on, and he was baptized on his deathbed. So he started the transition from many gods, the Roman gods, to one god. That's basically what he did in a, in a very, very summarized way, right? So in, uh, I think it was 312 AD, he was in the general of an army, and a meteor asteroid f- flew in the atmosphere and everyone saw it and they thought it was a sign from God and that's started him down the road to legalize Christianity. Right. And the way I look at it is that one person, Constantine the Great, changed the face of the globe forever. Our world would not be what it is today if he didn't do what he did. Like, you know, legalizing Christianity, which is now the biggest religion in the world and has been for 2000 years or 1700 years. And the religious, religious persecution, it was basically freedom of religion. It wasn't just Christianity. It was whatever you wanted to do. Right. But he did push towards monotheism because correct. See, but there are re the reasons he did. So was there's some thoughts behind that. It wasn't yes. Because was of it political belief system or whatever. Right. A lot of it, there are people, there are pundits who say that he did that to re, uh, keep the empire together. Yes, absolutely. Well, regardless because of the monotheism reason. monotheism had started to take over. Right, correct. Right. I mean, the, regardless of the reason, the dude changed history in a huge, huge. Can I mean, next to Jesus yeah, himself, but, did anyone change history more than that guy? What if he didn't adopt it? And the empire fell apart earlier versus later. Yeah. That's it, all that would have happened. Correct. Right? But it doesn't mean that it wouldn't have spread as much or didn't have spread as much because correct. it would have just eaten itself alive. Christianity, for some reason, was on a fucking freight train. It was going. That's why oh, yeah. he switched. But people were being killed because of their correct. beliefs. For sure. Yes, absolutely. But he went to monotheism because he saw the wave that was happening. It yes. was starting to take over. Correct. And if he didn't do that, he was going to lose all. all I agree that opinion. that's had a lot to do with and that's why i'd want to have dinner with the guy is yeah well how did you strategize what what did you really think what did you really what was the point of all this did you understand the impact that you were making when he made that decision that's you're talking a century and a half of 
repercussions. The ripple effect is there isn't a bigger one, in my opinion, in the history of humans. Very nice. Thank you. I'll be here for 20 minutes. Excellent choice, sir. Excellent choices. Can you read your three again, please? Sam Kinison, Leonardo DiCaprio da Vinci, and Constantine the Great, the first holy Roman emperor. But the way you hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me. Feel so holy, 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 holy. Okay. Emperor <laughs> of Rome. Oh, I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> Is that Justin uh, B? Is that the Beebs? It's the Beebs, man. Nice. With my favorite, my man, John Bellion, who wrote the fucking song. Okay. I have a version of him doing it acoustically. Whoa. Live. I've got it recorded on my phone, bro. Hells yeah. You're super Shaking eight. It close. All right, man. Yes. So this is it. I hemmed, I hawed. Yeah. I lost my train of thought. Oh, I gained again. it back. Yeah, I know. Bro. It sucks. Because another guy popped in my head, but it was. Well, then, oh, yeah. No, no. Name it's, them both. The person I'm going to choose. Yes. Is Richard Pryor. Nice. And the reason I'm going to choose Richard Pryor. Yeah. Is because he was around. First of all, he li- his his life was pretty dark. I saw some really awesome documentary on him as well, and he grew up in some pretty. I think he grew up like in a whorehouse. Like wow, in, that's in, fucked in, up. It's pretty interesting if you can find. I think it's probably a Netflix one or whatever. Anyway, Richard Pryor started the whole thing about the N word, taking it back. Right, became the whole thing, and later in his life, he looked back and he goes, "I wish I never did that." And I'm very curious. That's a good. I didn't know that. I'm very curious watching a young black man growing up during the racist bigot. Re- yeah, there's still right. racism. Well, yeah, we I'm get. Just well, I understand the the really fucking shit where they fucking burned you at the state, like strung you Lynchings, up back in yeah. the day. Okay, that time and growing up through that and his philosophy and his outlook and how comedy is so raw and real because comedy looks at things. The whole point of it is that it's just in your face. I mean, it's you. It's it addresses social, economic. It addresses all challenges, mm-hmm. and you laugh at it because yeah. the whole point of comedy and pain. I mean, it's you know, it's it all comes together. It all connects. But I'm I'm curious how he went through the transition, finding where he's like, you know what, I'm going to do this with the N word. I just remember that being the biggest thing, right? He took the N word, and he, it's ours. Like he lost power because they were using it then. But then later in his life, he said it was one of his. I, I've heard that he said it was one of his largest regrets. Why? I never heard him say it. That's the problem. Um, I don't know why. That's okay. the question. I would love to just. Oh, okay. I just love to bend his ear and how yeah. how his filter changed over the years. Oh yeah. And yeah. as society changed along, obviously lagging behind. Per, uh, no, there's no perfect system. Of course, but. Uh, we've come a long way in a short period of time. We haven't come the full way, but we've come, we're working, right? We're yeah. working toward that. And I'm curious how his filter changed over time and how his philosophy about his comedy and what he did changed and how it, you know, how he got perspective after getting burned. Yeah. And after how he had respect after freebasing for all those years, the parking, you know, all that, I would have just been interested in all that. Um, I, I would have, my other choice would have been Newton. Okay. And I've just been like, you know what? The dude wrote his own fucking math just to make his shit work. He's way above me. I can't. He's outside my pay grade. I can't do it. <laughs> I'm like, I can't do it. So I, he would have been my, he's my honorable mention. But all my scientist people were taken. Obviously, Damn Tesla man. would have been number one. It's Einstein, two. Um, who were the other two that were taken? Uh, Franklin was taken. That was my other one. Son of a bitch. And then whatever the four, I forget the four number. Anyway, that's it. Uh, it's funny because I I thought about doing Eddie Murphy. Good choice. Um, but it's interesting how we both have a comedian. You know, I think that's cool. I mean, think about it. We both had a comedian, a scientist. Do we have a scientist? What are your What I are your musician. What are your three again? I had, a mus- I had Sam Cooke, who's a musician. He's, right. I had a comedian. Yep. And Betty White, I'm an okay. actor. I guess I had, okay. I had no, nobody in the science fields, but those are the ones that most interest me, but they were all taken also. Well, so. I will let you come to dinner, and uh, Leonardo da Vinci can draw you a helicopter on his cocktail napkin. 
Og der kan Og jeg er lige håb, der You always have to close it with that. I know. I, should I write and ask if we can use that music? Just, no, yes. And every little thing at a restaurant. Yes, but also rec- you can record yourself doing it and put it on the board, and then just I'll hit that button eighty six times. You're not allowed, you're, sir. You are not approved to touch these buttons. You just, touch your own buttons, dude. That's not cool, man. Just record that shit. Well, yeah. This has been uh, three people. We dead take or alive. dinner with us, dead or alive, that we've never met. I like to have dinner with dead or alive, and I like to have the, all three of mine because they in spin one group. me round, round like right. a record, baby, round, round, kind of right, round, right, round, baby. Yes. Right round. Uh huh. I told you about. I told you about the cover band I did that song to. Yes. Awful. Terrible. If you missed the click, if you what? Off by how? Beat, if Chuck Barkley had to do a review, what would he say about it? He say it's terrible. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> terrible. I'm gonna lose more money there. I'm gonna lose more money there, Jordan. Tire Woods. <laughs> I do like. That's a good choice, though. Yeah, I, I, was, I, I love remember that. Magsy's BFF's other choice. It's like right on the top of my head. On the tip of your head? I didn't write Top it down. of your finger? I need to write stuff down. More. Yeah. Anyway. That is all. That hey, is leave all, us sir. a comment and tell us who yeah. your three dinner guests are. Three dinner guests. Twitter We'd love world. to hear it. Rate, review. Download. Download. Subscribe. Rate. Comment. Review. Download. Subscribe. Uh, rate. Stop review, singing. Download. Subscribe. And? Uh, be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. <laughs> <laughs>